Friday night tonight. The A team is at Thoroughby Field for this showdown between Central and TC West. Glad to have our partner Tim Brick back in the hot seat tonight. Thanks to Matt Frisk for filling in a week ago. Christopher is our engineer producer again tonight. Both these teams outstanding. Trojans 4 and 1, 3 and 0 in the Big North. Titans also 4 and 1, 3 and 0 in league play. A week ago, West just dismantled Cadillac 42 11, while Central was a big winner 49 21 at West Branch, Oklahoma Heights, scoring four times in the final quarter of that game to break open a 21 21 all. So, Tim, this is the makings of an outstanding game tonight, one of the best I think we've seen in this series. Oh, absolutely, and uh, driving up here, I thought my watch had stopped and I was way behind or something. I, I couldn't believe I usually get here plenty of time to find parking, and I was parking a, a block away. There was a beehive of activity here, and I could not believe how big the crowd was just driving in here. It was more like what you'd see about 10 minutes before kickoff time, and that was about an hour and a half before kickoff time. Unbelievable uh, crowd uh, here tonight, and it's worthy of uh, of uh, this game is going to be worthy of it because I'll tell you both teams four and one, just amazing parallels between the two teams. Got an impressive sight right down here on the field at Thoroughby Field right now, Tim. Absolutely, I'm not sure. Uh, these guys look a little bit older. I didn't get the announcement. These look like maybe Korean vets or uh, Vietnam vets, but some older uh, veterans out there. I think we're going to bring on some of the more current um, veterans uh, later on. This is a beautiful sight. home uniforms. All the players now led by coach Tim Moore from TC West shaking hands with each and every one of the veterans Tim as they go down the line. Yeah what a great sign of gratitude. Ladies and gentlemen we now have the Traverse City West marching band in our national anthem. Bio. Debate. Orchestra. Cross country. Traverse City Area Public Schools offer the broadest curriculum and greatest variety of programs and activities of any area school system. Yearbook. Corral. Cymatech. Francais. Equestrian. Palm Squad. At TCAPS, kids discover their potential because there are so many places to look. I want to do it all. Traverse City Area Public Schools, giving every child every opportunity to reach higher. T.J. Shepherdly will bring his team to the line, the senior quarterback. Again, no Nate pupil tonight. Yeah, good to see Coach Frisk with us up here in the press box. Did a great job a week ago filling in for you, team. He was the man running that free game festivities there for the Patriot night tonight. Titans in there, six, five man front. Hand the ball off on first down. That's Schmonicky. He'll get a couple off the left side. Tripped up as he hits the 22 yard line. Bring up a second down and eight. Pretty straight up in, on the first uh, series here. Trojans just uh, coming up with power up in there. Schwanicky picking up a yard. Titan defense in there pretty much uh, base defense early on. Ball spotted on that left hash mark. As a cry chick goes wide right. Also got. Uh, Billy Vermette split out right on this 
Second down play. Shefferly throws it that way behind for Minton. Incomplete. Ooh, Johnson was waiting on that one, the DB from West, Tim. Yeah, and Vermette's a target I thought they would have gone to a little more than they have this year. He was uh, showing good signs last year, but he's only been on the receiving end of a couple of TJ's passes this year. We are just underway in the first minute of the first quarter here from Harry Running Stadium at Thurlby Field. Glad you've joined us. The 18. Joel Frank, Tim Brick, our sidekick of 17 years, and Christopher, our engineer producer. Trojans in a passing situation here, third and eight from their own 22. Schmonicky comes in motion. Shepherdly wants to run the option. Cuts back to the right. Got a little running room. He's close. He's close to the first down. They take him down right at the 30-yard line. Well, a little bit of a reverse option that time in uh, uh, Shepherdly. They're going to give it to him. First down for the Trojans. He did that on his own, didn't he? Yep, about nine yard pickup for PJ. Was that a control? Averages. Yep, was that a quarterback run all the way? Yes, it was. He just noses across the 30 yard line for the initial first down to the ball game. Picked up a good block in the number seven. Uh, Catch the name on that one. Joe Shepherdly gives it off to Campbell this time, and Campbell's stacked up right about the line of scrimmage. Reamer was in the game at a wide receiver on that play. Not much running room there. They're going to mark him down right at the line. Bring up a second down and 10 play. Campbell's got a high average too, nine yards per carry, 128 on the season. He's only a sophomore. Hard to believe, Tim, we're two thirds of the way through the season after tonight. <laughs> it is still September and uh, we're playing the West Central game. Wide receivers to either side. Shefferly fires it to the sideline to Schwanicke, too wide. Nice coverage by Johnson. He threw that one almost into the stands. No one to go to there. Boy, and he was with him the whole way. Didn't even look at any other receivers trying to throw a fade route out there. And a uh, little too much arm on that one. Going for a touch pass. 10-17 to go in the opening quarter. Clock stops on the incompletion. 0-0. Zero, zero. Again, it doesn't get any bigger than this. This is the game of the night in northern Michigan. Titans in man coverage. Shepherdly, back to pass underneath. Reamer got it to the 35, still dragging tacklers. He'll be about two yards short up at the 38-yard line, Tim. Well, there was two uh, receivers with uh, maybe got their uh, patterns mixed up because they are both in the same spot. Hard to tell who he's throwing to. Hit Reamer, the outside receiver, on about a seven-yard pickup, and he's going to be short of the first down. They're going to mark him down at the Trojan 37-yard line. <laughs> and on to punt this ball away will be Egbert, oh, <laughs> Zach trainer, Egbert, punting yeah. for Nate Pupil, who is out injured tonight. Back deep, we've got Forrester for the Titans around his own 20-yard line. No pressure, end over end kick. Gets bounced, fielded nicely by Forrester on the short hop. Then he slips and falls down. 35-yard punt, five-yard return, and uh, I think Harry running got the tackle that time, Joel. 0-0, zero, zero, 9.27 to go in the opening quarter. Back in 30 seconds on News Talk 5E. down play. Donnie Sizek throws a dump pass off here through the hands of the intended receiver. Forrester incomplete. Bring up a second down and ten. So both teams are coming out throwing the ball early in this contest and we've got Lennon on the field. Yep. Looks like they're going against the Trojans. Offsides? Yeah it is. Oh it's a long mark off. Personal foul. Defensive holding possibly on that receiver. Bristol fall, Bristol roughing, the fall passer. roughing the passer. Wow, that'll take it out to the midfield stripe. First and 10 Titans. Excellent field position here with 9.22 to go in the opening quarter. Both teams 3-0 and in the Big North. 4-1 and one overall, Tim. And the winner of this one is gets a leg up on a playoff spot. Boy, rack that one up to a motion as somebody got in there a little bit late. I'm sure uh, a little adrenaline carrying him through too far on that one. 
Two receivers to the left side. Forrester the lone running back. They run the option here. Siza gives it straight ahead. Forrester crosses the 50. He'll get down to the Trojan 47 yard line for a gain of about three. Trojans uh, in the same look defensively as the Titans run that uh, four, four man look. They'll bring a linebacker up, makes it almost a five man line, but they're uh, head up over the guards and tackles. What we saw a week ago, Tim, this ball control <laughs> offense from TC West was amazing. Cadillac only got four plays in the entire second quarter. Now they got trips to the left, wide side of the field. Size it gives the ball to Forster. Nice penetration. They'll knock him down back at the 50. Boy, well, nice penetration there by David to that. He was missing the game, wasn't he, Joel? Yeah, he did. He missed our last broadcast. Forrester loses the three that he picked up earlier. We're back to third and ten. The ball's back on the Titan side of the 50. Eight and a half minutes to go in the opening quarter. Give you a Fox News update at halftime. Tim will recap the first half of this ball game. Coach Brady Hulk of the Michigan Wolverines, they're off this week, but his show is still a go. It's coming up at 10 o'clock tonight. Sizek in a passing situation, third and 10. Flushed from the pocket, rolling to his right. Still rolling, gets a ways down the right sideline, still running, and down to the Trojan 44-yard line. Nice run by Donnie Sizek. Good coverage by the Trojan secondary as they force the Sizek out of the pocket and force him to go for it. He almost picked up the first down, picked up about seven. Ball is in Trojan territory. They'll mark him down at the 48 yard line. They've got to, or 43 yard line. They've got to get to the 40 for a first down. So it's going to be fourth and about three and a half. They got a tight trip set close to the line of scrimmage as they got, got three receivers real close in on that Trojans play there. Still running players in and off the field here late. And I think maybe Central might have to take a timeout here. They didn't have, I don't think they had the personnel on the field that they wanted, Tim. Timeout, 7.23 to go. Oh, you know, Passano's uh, new here, but uh, he's 2-0 and against, 2-2 uh, two and two against uh, West. Lost the first one, won two in a row, and then lost one. Fourth and three, full house backfield for the Titans. Sizek looking right now, left, changing the play. Back under center. Fakes the handoff, rolling goes right, got a man wide open. Bellino down the sideline to the 20 and out of bounds. Campbell got him there, but what a call on Boy. fourth and three. Bellino got open on that far sideline. Well, they really had to the, get them right on the numbers. Yeah, they really had the Trojans thinking it was run as Bellino broke clear out of that uh, out of that right side there. Out of bounds at the central 21-yard line, first and 10 Titans. They stay in the full house look. They give the ball straight ahead. That's Bellino again. Gets inside the 20. Trojans trying to rip the ball out of his hands. Bellino picked up 20 on that reception there. He just came out of the backfield, and uh, they thought it was a, I'm sure the Trojans thought it was a run. Nobody covered him. Safety had to come over and make the catch. He'll get two on first down, ball just inside the central 20-yard line. Titans moving right to left here in the opening 12 minutes. Packed house at Harry Running Stadium at Thurlby Field for the showdown between West and Central. Rolling out Sizek to the right. Got a lot of room down the sideline. Penalty flag. Oh, and they take him out of bounds. Boy, two flags now That's going to be a late hit there. Out of bounds. There was a flag early on. It's going to be offsetting penalties. I think they got a holding penalty in there, and then they got a late hit on the Trojans. Two flags came in on the sidelines there. Again, a lot of emotion and adrenaline running here, I think, uh, caused that one. Not a... Around the 16-yard line. Yikes, they nailed him about 10 yards out of bounds, Tim. Yeah, let's see what's going to be interesting. <laughs> These First, are real refs, not the... Uh, replacements? The, the replacements. Yeah. Guys. First flag came in where you might see holding. Right. And then the second one, I think, is going to be for a hit out of bounds. Kind of surprised to see the Titans go to the air as much as they have. Joel, are you? I am a little bit. And I think, obviously, the Trojans are, too, because they weren't ready for some of those throws. <laughs> not at all. Tim Moore is on the field, so he wants an explanation, I think. They're going to move this back. Titans actually only get uh, credit. Well, they're going to mark them both off. 
they take the first one back, the hold it, and then they're going to mark this one. Now they're going to mark the first one foul. There might even be two of them. That's going to take the ball to the 17-yard line. Well, which the is holding was a, from the point of the foul, 10-yard penalty. Then they take, so he took it back from there. And then it was a 15-yard? off and a 15-yard, so it's a net gain of about four. Still second down. Almost halfway through this opening quarter, we are scoreless from Harry Running Stadium at Thurlby Field. Titans on the move here. Inside the Trojan 20-yard line, second and six <clears> from the 17-yard <throat> line. The white and green clad Titans, the black, white, and gold clad Trojans. Boy, it's just a gorgeous night for high school football. <laughs> Beautiful. Full house backfield. Trojans almost jump. Give the ball up the middle, near the end zone, inside the five yard line. That's the freshman Man, Ellison. Ellison. <laughs> Ellison inside the five, and that'll be first and goal. They spread out that Trojan defense that time, and they hit the freshman right up the middle. Down to the four that, yard line. That was good faking by uh, Sizek. He's good at that, Tim. Allison as we know. Picked up, uh, looks like 11 yards in the fourth first down. That's a third first down for the Titans. First and goal, knocking on the door here from the four yard line. They got one on a pass, one on a penalty, and one on a run. Stay in that full house look. Second man, that's Bellino, bounces it to the outside. They'll wrap him up inside the three yard line. Molino was the uh, touchdown machine earlier in the year as he scored yeah, that four, first three games we saw him yeah, He was amazing. He had like five touchdowns. Yeah. Molino gets about two that time. We roll inside of six minutes. Clock continues to roll. This is that ball control team that uh, Tim Warp was so uh, successful with a week ago against the Vikings. Molino only a junior, 180 pounder. First man through, Allison, Allison walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Titans. That was kind of a pitch to the fullback in the, in the, the cross full button. house set. Into the guy and then that came on the second back two off his hip. Uh, the old Uli change it to the guard track. Grant Allison, Allison. Big getting his first uh, Varsity touchdown in the West Central game. He's only a freshman. He's probably hoping they'll have a few more of those. Colossians on. Puts the extra point right through the uprights. 5.26 to go in quarter number one. TC West is on the board first. They lead it 7-zip. Back in 30 seconds on News Talk 5 -8. High School Football Friday night on News Talk 580. A-team, Joel Frank, Tim Brick, Christopher, our engineer producer. Glad to have you along. 7-0 here, also 7-0 St. Francis leading Charlevoix. Boy, I tell you what, this is a big series early in this game for the Trojans. You don't want to give the ball right back to the Titans the way that they've shown they can control this thing, Tim. Not at all. You go back to that fourth down play, Joel, that was a huge play. Washington will kick it away. Schwanicke and Campbell back deep, line drive. Campbell will take it at his own one, up to the 10, to the 15, cuts up the middle, 25, 30, 35, 40. It's a foot race, 45, 50. Lashen gets away, 30, 25, 20, 10, 5. They won't get him, touchdown! Ethan Campbell, 99 yards. 99 yards. <laughs> wow. Oh, what a stunner. 15 seconds off the clock. The kicker, Glashen, had a shot at him. I'm not sure exactly what yard line that was, but he got away from the kicker, and we're just a Jacob Gorder extra point away from tying this ball game up. Trey Gorder on to try to make it a 7-7 ball game. Holy mackerel. Fireworks on Patriot night, huh? Yeah. You know what? I don't think there's ever been a kickoff in turn for a touchdown this game. Come close a couple of times, I think. Gerard's the holder. Junior, Trey Gorder. Good snap. They get it down. The kick's plenty long enough, and it's right through the uprights. Whole new ball game, folks. 5.09 to go in quarter one. We're all leaving at 7 7.
Well, don't blink, because you'll miss something, folks. 5.09 to go in the opening quarter. Campbell, after the Titans had a ball control drive to score on the run by Ellison, on the ensuing There's kickoff, a, Campbell goes back 99 yards. There's never been a putt return for a touchdown. Putt return, there has been kickoff returns. Of course, uh, Tim Ohlert's 90 yarder, and who could forget Robbie Harmon's 75 yarder. Do we have to talk Absolutely. about Harmon? This guy off to my left would like to forget that one. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Matt just glared at me. Thanks, Tim. Yeah. But Gamble took it to the house 99 yards right after the Titan touchdown. Gorder will kick it away here. Long kick. Going to come down around the two-yard line. Going to be returned there by Forrester. Up to the 15. Tries to break it outside to the 20 to the 25-yard line. Nice return by Forrester. He took it at about the two-yard line, so... Can't go much further than that. Can't go much further than 99 in high school because you can't take it out of the end zone. Tell you what, T, we might see a game of contrast tonight. I suspect this is what we're going to see. The ball control offense run by the Titans and maybe the quick home run strike of the Trojans opposed to that tonight, do you think? It's possible. The Trojans have only run six offensive plays, so you know, the disadvantage is scoring that quickly as your defense stays out there the whole time. It's going to be at Curtis Field a week from tonight. That'll be our next broadcast. We'll see these Titans against the Northmen. 7-7 Seven -seven ball game here. Sizek straight back to pass. Dumps it to Forrester. Got some running room at the 30. 35. And up to the 37 yard line. That'll be close to a first down. <laughs> Boy, that was exactly what you said. A dump pass there. Forrester. He just sort of shot put it over the oncoming uh, rushing lineman and uh, dropped it into Forrester's hands in a really abbreviated screen, but he got 10 yards on it. Sizek's put up quite a few throws already early in this game, hasn't he? That's his uh, fourth throw. Ben he, a couple of them were, you know, that one uh, penalty on it, so he didn't count. But, uh... First and 10, Sizek fakes the handoff, rolls to his right. Got a man downfield. It's complete again across the 50-yard line. That's going to be Jordan with the catch. Isn't Carter. that Jordan Carter with that catch? I think it was. Inside Trojan territory at the 48-yard line, Jordan Carter. 14-yard pickup in the fifth first down for the Titans. Still in the first quarter, five minutes to go, and uh, it's 7-7 here. Got a late start here tonight because of Patriot night. That was really a moving pregame ceremony. Very, Gosh. Very cool. Sizek and now we Must be play stopped by whistles. They blew that dead before it ever got started. Pretty enthusiastic bunch of uh, West students over there next to the band, all dressed in white. The legal procedure is the call. That'll move them back across the 50. The Thunder sticks going. They're signaling plays in from the sidelines with the uh, Flash cards. I don't I remember Judd Heathcote doing that in basketball. I don't see any open seats. In fact, they're about two or three deep now around the fences. We still got time to come out, folks. There's still four to go in the opening quarter. Sizik got a man open left side. Johnson <coughs> to the 42 yard line in Trojan territory. Sizik looked one way and fired it back the other. And he has been precise so far tonight. He's um, four for six throwing. Johnson picks up about 11, but not enough for the first down because of that penalty. So it's going to be about fourth and uh, second and four. At the central 42-yard line, Titans scored. Ellison with a run <clears throat> early. And then the kickoff by Campbell returned 99 yards to tie this thing up. Sizek has a 68% completion average uh, for the season. Oh, Forster right. drops the ball. It's still loose. Big pile up at the 32-yard line. Trojans say they've got it. Let's Forrester see. Had well in, more than enough for the first down. They do. Trojans come out of there with the football. Picked up by Seth Tice. First and 10 central on the Forrester fumble. And he was all the way down to the 31-yard line. That would have been another first down, Tim. Yeah, he has more than enough room. In fact, he fumbled it forward. He was well past the first down uh, yardage when he did fumble and then fumbled it forward. So, <clears throat> Shepherdly coming up, coming in off the sideline with the play. First turnover for West. They had a couple of interceptions a week ago. 
they had the game pretty much in hand already, but West, turnover early here. Let's go on three receivers to the short side of the field. Now they got motion. Shepherdly comes in motion. His brother, TJ Shepherdly, not any running room there. He's stacked up right at the line. That's the same play that he ran earlier in the game for a first down. This time they stack him up right at the 32 yard line. The other one is a little more of a counter drill. He kind of stepped one way of reverse rolled on that one, but that was a straight quarterback draw, I guess you'd call it. Vinny's the cry chick, brings in the play from the Trojan sideline from Coach Tom Pazano. Boy, this is just great to see this kind of a crowd here. Two and a half minutes to go in the opening quarter of a 7-7 ball game. Here comes Schwanicke in motion. Shepherdly rolling to his right, back to the 20-yard line, gets away from one man. Now he reverses his field. Here comes Diver after him. He's at the 40 and close to a first down across the 40. And he gets hammered into the Titan bench. Shepherdly just going for the stake there and just gets to about the stake and uh... He got drilled. He got tattooed by somebody. I didn't see who that was, Joe, but he gets the first down. Only the second first down for the Trojan tonight. Ooh, was that a vicious hit on that far sideline. Nice run by <laughs> Shepherdly. Actually, the Titan laid him out right in front of his uh, own bench. So gives his uh, own guys a little thrill. Gerard comes in from the near sideline right down below us here. We're in the Olson Foundation press box at Harry Running Stadium at Thurlby Field. Francis moving to 14, nothing over the Red Raiders. Former rivals in the Lake Michigan Conference. Here's Shepherdly with a quarterback keeper. Gets to the 45 near midfield. Ooh, and somebody from West got hit late by one of the Trojan blockers. Shepherdly picking up yardage on his own there as he got contact right at the line of scrimmage and then uh, made a nice job of winding it back across. Picked up a nice stop block from that offside tackle. Picked up about seven yards on that carry. He's we got go 26 already. We go inside of two minutes here in the opening quarter. 7-7. Seven, seven. All even Steven. Trojans on the move here. Kind of game you would expect in a game of this importance, right, Tim? Absolutely. And a crowd appropriate for the situation. Here's the second down and four the play. They're moving the pile. That's going to be a first down, I think. I didn't think they did get the uh, rugby scrum. Well, the initial run wasn't going to be enough. Ball. That was Campbell who returned the kickoff for a touchdown. Is that Campbell? Yeah, he moved the pile for a first down in Titan territory. Campbell's got, this is the first time the Trojans have been in uh, Titan territory. The score came on a kick return. Yeah, they stacked him up at the line of scrimmage initially, Tim, but. Three he, first downs for the Trojans. One minute to go in the first quarter and it's tied up here. They're gonna mark him down at about the 46 yard line, we'll call it. Clock stopped at 117. Call comes in from the near sideline. T.J. Shepherdly, Schwanicki's in there. Billy Burmetton's a tight end. I sure hope Doc Thurlby and Harry Runny are watching this. This is spectacular. And a beautiful Setting night there, for a high school football. Just a beautiful night. Great temperatures. Shepherdly and Schwanicki in the backfield. Joe Shepherdly resets. They pitch it out to Schwanicki, sweeping right. Kicks it outside to the 50, giving ground, and Johnson will take him out of bounds. Back at midfield. Johnson doing a good job of Paul tying him down there. Shepherdly running out of room, but uh, he's got the wheels to cut it back. They're going to mark him just across the 50 yard line. Right. Inside of a minute, opening quarter. Three yard loss. Egbert and Gerard come in the game, Vermetten leaves. Shepherdly gets the call from the near sideline. Heads back to the huddle. On a second and 13 play, in no hurry here. Ball just across the midfield stripe. Late in the opening quarter. Back to pass, Shepherdly. Got some inside pressure, got a man open downfield. No, intercepted. Picked off by one of the Titans, under through the intended receiver. Egbert Tucker came up with that one. First and 10, well wait, we've got a penalty flag behind the play, let's see. 23 yard interception for uh, the Eckler. Yep, McGuire says it's against the Trojans, we'll see. It is declined 
Titans will get the ball. We'll take a break here. 26 seconds to go. 7-7, back in 30 seconds on News Talk 5 -8. On first down, Titans oh. run a play just across the 20-yard line. They're going to lose some yardage there, back to about the 22. They got the ball up at the 28 on um, what looks like it might be the final play of the opening quarter. They will lose five yards, and that's going to make it second and 15. We're down to one, and that's the final play of the opening quarter. After 12 minutes, we're all tied at 7-7. Titans with the ball now with a second and 15 after the interception and they lost five on the opening play of this drive, last play of the first quarter. They move left to right now in the quarter. Donnie Sizek on the keeper. He'll move forward to the 25 yard line. That'll make it third and long. That was a call quarterback he too. Was, uh, he tried to fake it up in there with force and then followed him up into the hole. But, uh, only able to pick up a couple yards that time. What do you think, Coach Chris? Could Fizek have run the beer for you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just the kind of kid you want. Yeah, he's a good quarterback. Two good quarterbacks in this football game. Shepard Lee from Central, too. Two of the best in the North. I just come out and win from both sides. Third and 12 play now from their own 25. Sizek straight back. Going to set up a screen. Overshot his man, but a penalty flag. Pass was intended for Guyon. And let's see here. We might we might have a holding here, huh? That there wasn't any roughing there, so they're saying it's against the Titans, the Trojan sideline below us saying decline it. It is holding against West. That'll bring up that'll bring up a fourth and twelve. That'll go against the stats that play stand. Sizek is the quarterback and the punter. First punt for the Titans. Here the dangerous TJs are both back around their own 40-yard line. Schwanicke and Shepherdly. Both have had a lot of success here of late returning punts. High snap. Sizek, no pressure at all. End over end kick downfield. It's going to be fielded by Shepherdly cutting right. And then he tripped. It looked like maybe on the 40-yard line. And he goes down just inside in the midfield strike, Tim. 34-yard punt and about a six-yard return. And uh, good defensive play there, but never got down there in coverage. I don't know that he didn't trip up on the turf there a little bit. Big hair running down the left side. <laughs> Early in the second quarter of this 7-7 ball game. Titans took it right down the field and scored, and the Trojans came back and returned the kickoff for a touchdown, Ethan Campbell. And that's our scoring so far, 7-7. Seven, seven. I think the deepest the Trojans got in Titans territory the men to about 45. From the shotgun, Shepherdly gives a handoff. Schwanicke, he's going to be wrapped up at the 45. Good play in there by 62. He came in motion, took the handoff, and that didn't fool anybody. He got stacked up for a quick three-yard loss. Schwanicke is going backwards. He's got three carries and negative five yards. So Krychik comes in from the Trojan sideline with the play here. A little over a minute into the second quarter. Trojans need to get a drive going. They've only got two first, three first downs. One on a pass, one on a penalty, one on a rush. Don't forget, after the ball game, we pick our William Chevrolet player of the game. Hope you'll stick around for the post-game show. Chevrolet back to pass. They're going to set up a screen, cross field, Schwanicke. Schwanicke jukes one man at the 40, 45-50. 45-40 down the sideline, oh, hammered out of bounds. Tucker just laid the leather in. Around the 35-yard line in Titan territory. That was 20, a dangerous cross-field pass, Tim. 24-yard pick, but they had that, that corner on man coverage out there on Schwanke, and that was uh, that's a tough situation. He juked one guy, and he was off to the races. You're going to mark him down at the 33-yard line. First and 10 Trojans in Titan territory. 
14-7 now at uh, Charlevoix. Thank you, Vince. Kind of an offset eye look with a from the shotgun pass was blocked and then completed. Reamer made the catch. McGuire all over him along with Tucker. Well, that was that was some, I think somebody hit that pass at the line, and it uh, ricocheted off the defensive lineman's hands right to Reamer for the catch for Central. That's a six-yard pickup and his second catch of the night to the 28-yard line. Reamer, they're a number two receiver. No, a number one receiver. He's had 11 catches for 189 yards. Drew Reamer, he'll go wide right on this second down play. Schwanicki goes wide left. Campbell and Joe Shepherdly in the backfield, lined up next to his brother, TJ. Here's the pitch out. Campbell got the near sidelines to the 20, maybe the 19 yard line. That should be enough for another central first down. Kind of doing a little bit to the Titans, what the Titans did to Cadillac a week ago. Yeah, Campbell uh, that time picking up about seven yards, maybe eight. And again, he's got a nine yard average coming in here. Not very many carries, but uh, a nice average. And that was right up there with what he's averaging. And I suspect we're seeing him back there because of the injury to Nate Pupil, who's not playing tonight. I'm sure. This is the Trojans deepest penetration of the evening here at the 20, 19 yard line. First and 10 from the Titan 19. Trojans right to left here in the second quarter wearing the black home uniforms. Shepherdly pitches it out, Campbell again. This time the, he flies through the air as he's upended and he'll get back to about the 19 yard line, no gain. They got a, <laughs> a track meet going on up in Charlotte. Now it's 20 to seven. Let's go around the kickoff back. <laughs> We've seen that before. We're 7-7 seven, seven here, just inside of nine minutes to go in the first half. Give him a gain of one on that play. Boy, he went flying through the air with the greatest of ease on that one, didn't he, T? Yeah. Shepherdly back to pass, got some pressure, fires it underneath. Reamer's got it at the 10 to the 5. And he to gets the Touchdown, Drew Reamer. Well, 18 that's yards for uh, touchdown, Reamer. Helped by the Titan defender on that one, wasn't he? He actually slung him into the end zone. Yeah, he was trying to swat the ball. The first defender coming in there trying to knock the ball uh, away from Reamer was just carrying it like a loaf of bread. Then the second one had to try and make a come from behind tackle and then rolled him into the end zone. Trey Gorder is on to attempt the extra point here. Gerard's the holder, trying to make it a 14 to seven ball game. Titans scored first. Trojans have put a couple on the board since. Good snap. They get it down. Gorder right through there. I think Gorder put that one over to the state police post. 14-7. Trojans, 8.38 to go in the second quarter. We're back in 30 seconds on News Talk 5 8. And I were just talking. Ethan Campbell has really given the Trojans a, a real jump start in this first half, Tim, that maybe we didn't expect. Yeah, very much. He's uh, got a very, very quick uh, first half. So now the onus is on Tim Warren, the Titans. Let's see if they can counter punch here. Now down 14 to 7 with eight and a half minutes to go. We'll get a Fox News update at halftime of this game. Here's the kickoff by Gorder. It's long all the way down to the goal line. It's returnable from the one. Return man cuts to the outside and down short of the 20 yard line on that return is Octavian Wah. He'll go down at the Titan 19. Good special teams play by the Trojans to hold him inside the 20. Brady Hulk at 10 o'clock tonight. Michigan no game this week. They've got a bye. I think Eastern's playing by too. Boy, by is really busy this weekend. How about those Lions? Stafford's back at practice now. Boy, was that the weirdest game you've ever seen last week? Very strange. Oh my goodness. They scored two touchdowns in 18 seconds and only to lose in overtime. That's Lion football right there in a nutshell. First down play. Here's a handoff to Forrester. Forrest. They're gonna wrap him up inside the 15, but I think they got a face mask. Boy, Forrester goes backwards again. Well, the hometown fans. I think they're calling a horse collar, and that was no face mask. They, uh, 
Reese Adel made the tackle, but oh my. They wrapped him up for about a five yard loss, and instead it's going to cost them. They're going to pick it up. No penalty. Hometown crowd from Central like that. Of course, two home teams here. West is across the field tonight, though, as we are still early in the second quarter. 14 to 7, the Trojans lead it here with still over eight minutes to go. Donnie Sizek back from the far sideline, getting the play from Tim Moore and the Titan Brain Trust. Off to Petoskey, Curtis Field, a week from tonight. Hope you'll join us next Friday night. Two wide receivers to the left. Sizek rolling that way on second down. Got a little pressure. Still running. He's got some room to run. He'll skip out of bounds up at the 20. Pretty good coverage downfield, Tim. He had nobody to go to. Good call. Take it and go. Picked up no yardage, though. They're going to mark him out of bounds at the 19. I thought he picked up a couple yards, but he got nothing. Going to be third and 10. They've got to get up to the 29 for a first down. Donnie Sizek, the senior quarterback. Jordan Carter, one side. Johnson's in the slot. These Trojans have got a tough rush defense. Sizek hit, fires it downfield, complete. Egbert with the big hit, but that should be enough for a first down. Johnson on the catch? Yeah, Johnson for a first down. Nice uh, nice awareness by Tyler to know where the stakes are because he went right to the stake a little bit past it, came back to the quarterback, giving him a little nice target in there and another first down for the Titans. Well, that was a big third down completion to Tyler Johnson up at the 31 yard line. Now move the stakes. How many first downs now for the Titans? That's uh, six first downs for the Titans. I was just saying they've run the ball 10 times and only got 28 yards. This Trojan defense is tough to run against. But that's why they've gone to the air so much. Sizek keeps the ball. They're gonna wrap him up inside Good the 30. Job. Kind of a redraw option there, isn't it? <laughs> that was kind of strange. He put he that done. ball in the chest of Forrester and then took it back, and he got taken down back at the 30. He'll lose one. Yeah, he was uh, waiting a long time to make the decision to hand off or keep it. But uh, Adele was not, uh, not tricked at all. That three-man Trojan defensive line getting really good penetration. A couple of them. Go to drop off of Sizek, active pass, there. got a man open in the middle. Carter, what a oh, catch! Nice catch. Jordan Carter. <laughs> Took it away from Weston Guitar. Well, that was a nice pass by Sizek, a pretty good hit. Not bad coverage by Guitar, but a better catch. Ninth Jordan for, Carter. Uh, Sizek in uh, six receptions. They're in Trojan territory at the 42-yard line after that catch. Six and a half to go, second quarter. Right over the center and uh, right over the middle and good coverage. I mean, Trojans with nice delivery by Sizer. Johnson goes wide left. Tucker's in the slot right. Carter wide right here. Forrester the lone running back on this first and 10 play. In Trojan territory, Sizer gives it to Forrester. Forrester spins away from one man. He'll get to the 40. Shabet's got him by the ankles there. Besides, it's uh, almost uh, 800 yards thrown for the year. Probably over that by now. Octavian Waugh, Guyan was in the game on that play. Brings the play in from the sidelines. Give Forrester a pickup of two. Call it second down and eight. Ball spotted right in the middle of the field. White and green clad Titans. Black and gold. Glad Trojans both four and one. Changing the play on the sidelines. Side going down the line, telling oh, the linemen, the and now they're going to have to take a timeout. This clock was running down. Must have seen something in the Trojan uh, defense they wanted to exploit. Five thirty-one to go, second quarter. Trojans lead it fourteen to seven. Let's take a thirty-second break. We're coming back on News Talk five eight.
14 to 7. Quite the chess match here. You bet. Ball's at the 41 yard line. Second down and eight Titans. In Trojan territory. Sizek takes the snap, rolls to his left, got some time, looks downfield, throws it a little too high for Carter. Well, he had Carter wide open on an out and up there, and safety a couple steps behind him. I think uh, Sizek tried to drop it down over the top of that linebacker a little bit too much. Put, should have put a little more on it, but uh, that would have been a nice toss. 14-7 here, Thurlby, five to go in the half. Third and eight play coming up now for the Titans. Trojans are the home team and they're the leaders right now. I'm looking forward to the halftime when we get the combined bands. That's going to be cool, Tim. Yeah, they used to get the junior high bands out there too. There's about 600 musicians out there. It's pretty impressive. Here's another big third down play. Sizek rolling to his right this time, still running towards the near sideline. They'll take him out of bounds. Well, he's he's going to be short of the first yard. You know what's uh, incredible? He ran out of room that time. They used to do that band show, and it was always late in the season. The field was in such terrible condition, and they did it regardless. And they used to ring up huge drag cleaning bills for their band uniforms, <laughs> but uh, not anymore. Thank you to the Olsons. Don and Jerry, we don't have that problem anymore. Fourth and eight. Looks like the Titans are going to punt it away. Sizek will get this kick away just across the 50-yard line. Only their second punt. Nobody back for the Trojans. Expecting perhaps a fake. Sizek angling to the right sideline. Hits at the 10 and goes out of bounds right about there. That's a 30-yard punt, no return. Uh, the Trojans had no one back 40 yards and put it in the end zone. So nice uh, strategy at work part. That's a deep hole to put him into. Five minutes to go, and the Titans have got their Trojans have got two timeouts left. They'll start first and ten from their own 11 yard line. Shepherdine Campbell in late to the Trojan huddle. Gerard sprints to the Trojan sideline on this first and ten play. Trojans have taken the lead here in the second quarter, 14 to seven. Shepherdine working the shotgun, he gives a handoff. Campbell crosses the 15, maybe the 16 yard line. Then the Campbell left is. side of the Titans bottles them up there. Well, you said it, Joel. Campbell gives them a different element. He had a big uh, average, but not many carries. So he's gotten uh, six carries now, five carries tonight. You, know, you figure with Nate Pupil out of the lineup because of an injured knee. Well, you'd think their defense would drop off too, but they're. Uh, guys are playing stuff. Second down and five. Shepherdly gives the ball up the middle. Not much running room short of the 20 yard line. Campbell again, I think, Tim. It was. Yeah, he picks up about two more. Just six carries, got 19 yards. Got to get to the 21 for a first down. So it's going to be third and about five, four. 13 rushes for the Trojans tonight. Egbert's in, Campbell's out. So is Billy Bermett in the tight end. Both teams have had a turnover. The Trojans have given up an interception. The Titans have given up a fumble. Four minutes exactly to go in the second quarter. Trojans up by seven. Shepherdly rolling out. Looks for Reamers downfield. Now he's going to fire it long. He's got a man open. Catch made by Gerard oh at the 40 yard line. He got away from Lowe. Boy, he got away from Lowe. And boy, Shepherdly put that ball right on the money. That'll be a 40-yarder if that stands no, up. I don't think it's going to, though. I don't they're, either. They're coming back the towards the Trojan goal line. They were kind of doing a little bit of a reverse there, and they're bringing it back. 40 I, yards negated by him. Well, I got to tell you, I'm not so sure that Gerard didn't push off on that one, too. They were jousting for that one about the midfield strike. They're bringing it back on the procedure. Gerard got a little separation, maybe. Uh, not. Did he put that ball right on the numbers? He did. Allowed to go. That's going to cost him big yardage because this was about the 40 yard line. Not only that, an emotional letdown. Five yards and a penalty, so it had to be a procedure. Let's see what the signal is here. That's back to the 12, so that's 30. That's a 48 yard difference at least on that penalty. It wasn't holding. Did not get a call. A five yard Illegal penalty. Procedure. Down. I think it might have been a legal procedure. 
That's what I would think, but I do see a signal. Got tri formation. trips to the left here on third and nine. Lateral pass goes right through the hands. That's a free ball. Nope, they're gonna call it incomplete. Through the hands of TJ Schwanicky. Ball went out of bounds, but it was called incomplete anyway. What a difference being at the uh, Titans 35 yard line from putting to your own 10. 11. Big, big difference. That's huge with 346 to go in the second quarter. This again Egbert will be the second punt for the Trojans. Egbert punt. He'll get this kick away from about his own goal line. Forrester's back inside Trojan territory near the midfield strike. Good snap. Egbert gets the kick away. Kind of a wobbly kick. Forrester calls for a fair catch, drops it. But I think he got back on it himself at the 44 yard line in central territory. About a 33 yard punt, no Yikes. return. That's the second time Forrester's put it on the turf. Titans got a good, uh, good field position and two timeouts, a 341 to go. 44 yard line. Glen Lake 14, Kingsley 0. Moore got his uh, troops on the sidelines, sending them in with a play. They'll come right up to the ball. Matt Chris giving us an update. Glen Lake 14, Kingsley nothing. Whoa. That's a big one, too. <laughs> Go, Jerry. Titans excellent field position down by seven here, starting from the Trojan 44. Here's a misdirection play. Bolino bounces. Off a couple of Trojan tackles, but they'll stack him up right about the line of scrimmage. You know, I noticed uh, Jerry on the TV yesterday, they were interviewing him, and he had a purple Glen Lake hat, and I don't know how he got that, but uh, Jerry's from Bay City, <laughs> and that's their color, so maybe he's trying to get Glen Lake colors to you. <laughs> you think? I don't know. I don't know how he got a purple Glen Lake hat. Grant Bellino there on a counter play, gains a yard. Three minutes. Elmer Engel happy though. Everybody's in tight here. A couple of wings. Ellison's a lone running back, and now the Titans will take a timeout. War is not happy there. I don't, think he's too ha I don't think he's too happy about this first half overall. Nope. I think he sent a couple plays in there. Let's take a timeout. Soon 59 to go in the second quarter. Trojans lead it 14 to 7. Back in 30 seconds on News Talk 580. Back at our News Talk 580 <coughs> studio, Ellison, man in motion, hand off up the middle. Ellison, play is stopped though by, we're gonna get an illegal procedure call against the Titans. Yeah, they called that. They're just kind of, they're their own worst enemies right now. Right now they are our worst. Out on the field again. He's changing the whole backfield. Yep. Octavian Waugh, Ellison, Bellino, Drake, the tight end, all out. Second and 14 after that penalty. Ball moves back to the 48 yard line. Good deep amount of go on too. Still in Trojan territory. But you're shooting yourself in the foot a little bit. Trojans fake a blitz. Sizek's got some running room here. Fires it across the middle, complete. Catch made by McGuire at the Trojan 35. <coughs> Zach McGuire is also a backup quarterback. Sophomore wide receiver takes it to the 35, and that is going to be close to a first down, right? It's about a 15-yard pickup, and uh, we had three second downs for the penalty, so that one finally counted, and it was good for 14, 15 yards. I think they got the first down. Well, they're saying not, I guess. Third and short. Huh. Just inside the TC Central 35-yard line. Back to the full house backfield. Give the ball to Forrester. Dives across, he's it. got it on second effort. They stacked him up right in the middle of the field, though. Trojans say he didn't get it, but it certainly looked like he did. Yeah. Well, I don't know. They, they didn't give him a very good spot. They though. didn't, and they call it. First down, Titans. On the move here, just over two minutes to go in the second quarter. Methodical ball control offense. It can really wear down a defense. We saw it happen to the Cadillac Vikings last week. Cadillac only got four plays in the second quarter of that game. Third quarter too. Is that right? Third yeah. Quarter. Wow. 
Bellino give the ball up the middle. Allison. That's Ellison, the freshman, dragging Ethan Campbell down to the 25 and still, still dragging balling. the Trojans. Allison probably picked it 13 yards and uh, most of it on second ever. That should be another first down inside the central 25. Again, carried him much tonight, though, has he? That's his uh, third carry, but he's got 27 yards. Titans hustled to the line here, now first and 10. We got a timeout left, two minutes on the clock, and uh... sensing momentum is shifting to them a little bit here, Tim, late in the second quarter. Sizek fakes the give, got a man open, middle of the field, intercepted. <laughs> Threw it right to the Trojan defender, picked off by Weston Detar. The tar brings it back to the 35-yard line. And now I think we might have a, do we have a penalty flag or are those the shoes? Nope, there's a penalty flag. A couple of Trojans have gold shoes. Weston Detar, boy, the man was open for a moment right in the middle of the field and Detar playing outfielder there. Came up with the interception. Boy, and that was, uh... 25-yard return by Dakar. It looked like for a moment he was going to go to the house, but uh, that was a nice jump. He was at the top of his jump there. It wasn't like right to him. He had to make a nice move and uh, catch on it. Personal foul against the Titans, so that's going to tack on 15 more. That puts the tro Trojans in Titan territory. 130 to go on the uh, half, and they've got a two timeouts. And that stops a very nice Titan drive there. Yeah, you're right. They were uh, going into ball control. They were kind of setting the tone there, and then they give it up. See what the Trojans do here after the turnover. Shepherdly fakes the pass. Got a flag down again. Stop Keeps it himself to the 45-yard line. But Illegal again, procedure. they had trips to the wide side of the field here, and I think they're going to go back to the short side of the field. But. It'll cost them five and move the ball back across the 50-yard line, Tim, back into central territory. Both teams here kind of mistake-prone late in this first half of this 14-7 yeah. ball game. Certainly not three-game jitters. They played pretty clean the first part of the game. These schools are not the, uh, in the same division. I believe Central at 1,400 students is in uh, Division Two and West. About 1,800? Right, right close to 18 is in Division One, so they probably would not match up in the playoff. We got a Trojan down here on the field, got some cramp issues. Amy Ream, the trainer, is out there. That's uh, Joe Corcoran. You know, I think Amy was here when Uli was here. She's been around a long time. Well, her kids are a little bit older now. <laughs> what a night for football. This is like a Chamber of Commerce evening. Glad you have joined us, but hope you can see it personally because this is a good one. You know, this is a storied that. robbery. It goes back to 1997. They've been pretty wet West Central games for the past four or five years, it seems like. And, uh, nice to see it. Nice weather. <laughs> Just <a> tremendous <laughs> turnout. Young kid from Houghton Lake started this West program. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. I remember the press conference when they introduced him. Late Never year. had a losing season. He called me Mr. Frank. He did? <laughs> he did. Because the did. last time he called me Mr. Frank. <laughs> First and 15 after that penalty. Shepherdly fired for the sideline, had open. Schwanicky ran out of real estate there and over his head. I think he said, I'll be Frank with you and be Frank with me. <laughs> he had a good run. He's a Hall of Famer now. I'll tell you what, Traverse City's been blessed. We've had some outstanding football coaches in this town. Several Hall of Famers now. Matt, you've got a daughter still at Naval Academy? She graduated. She, actually, I just got a phone call from her. She's She was underway for about 20 days and she's back in her apartment tonight. She's not at sea currently and she's listening to you guys screaming live. <laughs> Second and 15, Shepherdly back to pass, got some pressure. Oh, they're gonna take him out of bounds. Hard right into the Trojan bench. Low and others made that tackle. Diver was in there as well. Matt said she's looking at the ninth game. 07 West alumni. <laughs> Clock stops at 50 seconds to go. That'll be third and 16. Ball's at the <coughs> Trojan 46 and a half yard line. 50 seconds to go in the 
Trojans still got two timeouts. And a 14 to seven lead here. It was 20 to seven St. Francis late against Charlevoix. They're gonna use one of those timeouts now. With 50 seconds to go, we'll take a break. Trojans lead it by seven. Back in 30 seconds on News Talk 580. So far, it's lived up to the pregame billing, Tim. This has been everything everybody thought it should be a good one here. Central yeah. with a chance, third and 16, just uh, in their own territory. They're gonna mark it at the 46 and a half yard line. It's as close as we thought it'd be. Campbell, the lone running back. Three receivers to the right side. Shepard, here's a delay to Campbell to the 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. 25-20, they got him out of bounds. Oh my gosh, a delayed sprint draw, and uh, Campbell gets the first down. Tucker finally and got him out of bounds. On a third and 16 play. 30-yard pickup, Campbell. Seventh carry, he's got 49 yards. And a 99-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. And that was a real momentum saver there for the Trojans. Campbell just a sophomore, too. First and 10 from the Titan, 22. 42 seconds, he's still got a timeout left. Shotgun Shepherdly pitches it out to Campbell to the near side, cuts in at the 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Ethan Campbell. Campbell. He knew it. He knew it was about the 10 yard line, he raised the ball up. No. 22 yards out, Campbell after a 30 yard reception. No penalty flags. Trojans put another one on the board. A 30 yard run. In high school football, strange. 52 yards in two plays. This kid might not be on the field if Nate Pupil wouldn't be hurt. Yeah, just a sophomore. The second touchdown. Trey Gorder pooches the kick this time, but puts it right through the uprights. You can sense that the Trojans are on a big roll here. They are the home team tonight. And they have exploded here in the second quarter on Patriot night. That was all set up by Tatar's uh, interception down around the 15 yard line, a 25 yard return. He brought it out and uh, what was that third down when he hit? Uh, third and 16. Campbell broke that uh, draw. Yeah, sprint draw as you called it, Tim, but boy that really opened up nicely and was like a three-man defensive line, I think, and they were thinking the Trojans were gonna pass. Gorder will kick it off, Forrester's back deep, along with Waugh around the goal line. Here's a long kickoff. It's gonna be fielded That's around the one-yard line. Is that the 20, 25, up near the 30-yard line. Return made by Octavian Waugh. Titans still have almost 29 seconds to go. Do you try to put one on the board here and risk making a mistake, or do you just run this thing out now and go to the locker room knowing that you're going to get the ball to start the second half? Ah, they're high school guys. It's a long ways to go. I think they just uh, take what you can and go in. I'm not sure you want to try and go deep. This could make matters worse. At the 29-yard line, first and 10, the Trojans are lined up. Titans are still huddled around head coach Tim Warren, the far side of the field. I don't know, that was a long talk for just taking a kneel down. <laughs> Sizic will come from the shotgun. They're gonna reset Forrester to the left side. Two receivers to either side, first and 10 from their own 29. Sizic got some left side pressure, fires it downfield, got his man. That's Jordan Carter near the 40 yard line. That might be enough for a first down. He slipped a little bit. Looks like Reamer may be shaken up a little bit for the Trojans after making that tackle. That's Carter's uh, third reception. They're going to take a timeout, I believe, Tim. Yeah. So, so they want to get some more points here. Yeah, good for them. That's cool. No, in the no, no more timeouts left here. You got a quarterback that has uh, eight 
68% completion uh, average. You might as well try it. That'll be a first down for West up at their own 39 yard line. And again, they're all huddled around the respective coaching staffs. What a ball game. 7 7 after one. Central scored two touchdowns here in the second quarter. They lead it 21 to 7. There's still 20.2 seconds to go in what has been a long first half. Patriot night here at Thoroughby Field. We're in Petoskey next Friday night. Big North Conference game. We'll see these Titans again. Winner of this ball game will be atop the Big North all by themselves at 4 0. Both still have playoff uh, aspirations. Sizek flushed oh. from the pocket, tried to throw it to Johnson. Johnson. Couldn't handle it. Nice throw. Johnson tried to get out of bounds too quickly before he had possession and uh, missed for sure first down that time. What's that? Johnson looked up a little bit. 14 on the clock. Almost 14.8. Second down. Still time. No more timeouts, though. Trojan's going back to a cover four. Sizek throws it near sideline. This time Johnson's got it. Rolls out of bounds. Well, I thought he did. They're going to mark as soon as they spot it, right? The clock will start. So the Titans hustle up to the line. The ball is at the Trojan 48. Clock rolling, about six seconds, Sizek spikes it. Six and a half seconds to go. It'll be second and 10. Now we got maybe two shots, let's see. Well, we've got two of the best kickers in the north. Loshin from west, Gorder from central. Both have 40 yard range, Tim, so if they could. How about Harmon <laughs> yeah. from central Michigan? West, he keeps uh, bringing that up. Wins the game for central over Iowa, big win for. How about that, huh? Plus, he had an onside kick. Six and a half seconds. An interview to on the TV with him. <laughs> Back to pass, Sizek. Might be the last be the play, last perhaps. Play. Chevette chases him down the sideline. Fires it downfield. It's complete. We've got a penalty flag. Johnson comes back to make the catch down to the Trojan 32 yard line. Now we got another penalty flag. Well, if it's a defensive penalty. Can't end on the defensive penalty. Penalty, so I don't think they got a holding first off. Sizing made about a 15 yard completion to Johnson. Ball is at the 30 the yard line throwing. approximately. And uh, let's see what we're gonna get here. Sizek's 10 for 17 right now. Here come the Trojan coaches. The Titan coaches are on the field on the far side. These Here comes Penn. These guys didn't do the Green Bay game, did they? I don't know. There's Tuckers out there with Sizek listening to what the officials are saying. They're still conversing at the 35-yard line. I think we had two different penalties on this play, don't we, Tim? I think so. I think the one came in early, and then we had another one come in late. The first one was an offensive penalty, the second one was a defense. He had a late, late hit, late hit out of bounds. He had a late hit out of bounds over here. I don't know what happened down here, but the first flag was a late hit. Hey, this is a well-played game. There's no cheap shot. There's been no. a few penalties, but... Uh, All right, we're going to get the call here now. Let's see what this is. Tom Pazano comes out now to get an explanation. In, uh, illegal receiver, receiver downfield down for the West. Titans. Personal foul. foul on the Trojans. So I think we're going to mark it off, offset, and they'll replay that. Clocks up, so the play cannot end on a defensive penalty, right. but it was an offset penalty. So we've so got to play one more the without play a clock. Does not count. So they will start over. Just they're going to not set any time on the clock. It would have been six seconds. Ball is at the 33-yard line, still 21 to seven. Well, they did mark it off <laughs> against the Titans. Because it's, uh, Cause they well, were second in about 25. No, 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 it wasn't that offsetting penalties. I, I don't know how they got this this way. That's a second a little bit unusual call here. Time is off the clock. Sizek's gonna go back to pass, gonna shovel it to Forrester. He's at the 40. 
45. They take him down from behind, short of the 50. On the final play of the first half, Trojans and Titans head for the locker room. Central leads it 21 to 7. Again, the Traverse City Central High School marching band Cirque du Soleil performing here at halftime. A full house at Harry Running Stadium at Thoroughby Field. Tim, let's uh, check in on the first half stats in this 21-7 Trojan lead. Well, it's very close on the uh, scoreboard and very close in the stat sheet as well. The Trojans uh, will get their stat first since they're leading 21-7 here at Thoroughby. They've got 147 yards of total offense, 92 on the ground, 555 through the air. They've only gone in here uh, seven times, but um, made them count as they uh, completed seven of their four of those. Uh, Schwanicki, one reception for 24 yards. Reamer, uh, three receptions for 31 yards and an 18-yard touchdown. Uh, those are the only two uh, guys catching balls. The leading uh, rusher, Campbell, Ethan Campbell, uh, sophomore, eight carries for 71 yards, and Sh um, Schwanicki, five carries for 26 yards, and believe it or not, or uh, Shepherdly, five for 26, believe it or not, Schwanicki is a negative yardage on three attempts, so they pretty much taken number 23 out of the game, but had to uh, now contend with number 20, Campbell, who's come out of uh, uh, off the bench for Papalusa, Papalusa, not playing tonight. On the other side, the uh, Titans, they have 172 yards, so more yardage than the uh, Trojans, and they've run uh, more plays, actually, 32 plays to uh, 23, but um, they've had uh, 46 yards is all on the ground and 16 rushing attempts, so um, that stingy Trojan rush defense has really put, shut them down. Well, they did give up a touchdown on the ground. Uh, that's the only score. Um, they went to the air 16 times. Uh, size has got a good completion man that you can like tonight. Nine completions on 16 attempts for 126 yards. He had an interception. The Titans have won uh, the statistic battle, but not the scoring battle. They've got nine first downs, 172 yards. Real nice passing percentage. Um, the rushing uh, has been spread pretty much by committee. Sizek uh, picking up uh, nine yards on five carries. Forrester six yards or six, seven yards on six carries. Uh, Allison um, three yards or three carries for 27 yards. And uh, Molino has uh, two carries for three yards. Molino also had a couple nice uh, receptions there. 20 yard uh, pickup in two years. But Johnson, uh, he had three catches for 34 yards. Um, Carter had three catches for 47. Johnson uh, lost 15 yards on that last play. We had to take that away from him. He had actually a fourth catch and another first down, but uh, kind of an odd play at the end there. Double penalty that both went against the Trojans, it appeared. But, uh, but they 14. marked it off against the Titans. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, so strange. Offsetting penalties, but 30 yard penalty it seems against the uh, Titans anyway. Uh, 21 to 7 here at Thoroughby, and uh, that's pretty much how the stats broke down, Joel. AP Bio. Debate. Orchestra. Cross Country. Traverse City Area Public Schools offer the broadest curriculum and greatest variety of programs and activities of any area school system. Yearbook. Corral. Cymatech. Francais. Equestrian. Palm Squad. At TCAPS, kids discover their potential because there are so many places to look. I want to do it all. Traverse City Area Public Schools, giving every child every opportunity to reach higher. Uh, both these guys are adapting pretty well, and it's just been a really fun series to watch. If you remember, Joe, when this thing started uh, back in 1997, believe it or not. Uh, these kids were given the option of going to whatever school they wanted to. It wasn't based on uh, uh, boundaries at that time. So it like was a new school. And um, uh, Matt Frisk came in, did a good job of uh, swaying a lot of the athletes to come to West, and they had a, a nice run um, for like four or five years, I think maybe, I don't know, six or so, but they won this uh, West Central Series. And, uh, 
remember the quarterback, Dustin Ramoy. Remember him? Yeah, Dustin Ramoy. First I won, but there was a whole run of conference in there. Yep. Uh, Caleb and Casey and, uh, you know, a bunch of those guys. I think that first... Uh, well, the first time they ever touched the ball, they scored a touchdown. Yeah, very first play West ever played. Uh, you see it in their eyes, their smiles, the sheer joy of learning. It doesn't come from a book. It comes from a teacher, a passionate professional who makes subject matter come alive. At Traverse City Area Public Schools, teachers inspire students by building relationships, nurturing potential, opening doors to the many possibilities, and the results are plain to see. Traverse City Area Public Schools, giving every child every opportunity to reach higher. Welcome back to Thurlby Field. Joel Frank, our sidekick Tim Brick. We're at halftime where the Trojans lead it over the Titans 21 to seven. West will get the ball to start the second half. Statistically pretty close. Both teams are back on the field. Again, West will get the ball to start the second half. They Teams came out a little bit later than normal. They've warmed up here. Trey Gorder will get the kick away. The Titans will be moving left to right in the third quarter of play. Down by 14, 21 to seven. They scored first, but the Trojans are on a 21 consecutive point run here. The lead at 21 to seven. A little uh, extended halftime, but we did see both bands and the junior high bands together. We were trying to estimate. We're thinking it was uh, anywhere between three and four hundred musicians. That was beautiful. That, that was time, a thing so. of beauty. And still, what well, was pretty cool, uh, a lot of times at halftime, the crowds, uh, the, the stands just empty out, but everybody stayed in their seats to watch that performance. We're ready to go. Trey Gorder will get the kick away. It's in the air. It's going to be returnable around the 10 yard line. That's Forrester on the return to the 15, and oh, he's taken down from behind, short of the 20-yard line. He is slow getting up as somebody got he him high. Oh, he's having a hard time getting off the field. He's all over the place. Forrester's uh, not having a great night here. He's, uh, Ooh, that was a big hit from behind. Six carries for seven yards. He was at negative yardage for after his fourth carry. You might watch that a little bit, see how he's reacting to that. He took a pretty big hit from behind. 16 rushing is. attempts for the Titans in the first half, and only uh, 46 yards. So they find it tough going on the ground as almost anybody that's played the Trojans have found. And then without uh, pupil, their uh, star linebacker. So senior Donnie Sisek brings them to the line, first and 10. Rolling from the pocket here on first down, looking downfield, he'll just throw it away. Sizek making a good call that time. As he uh, saw nobody open and decided to drop it out of the uh, sidelines. Trojans really had Carter bottled up along the near sidelines. Trojans are pretty much getting pressure there with a four-man rush. They're not doing any splitting there, but blitzing that we see from linebackers. A lot of showdowns tonight. Big one, Glenn Lake is 29 to nothing over Kingsley. Oh, my goodness. Start of the fourth quarter now. We're in the start of the third quarter here. I can just see the smile on Jerry's face, can't you? Here's a handoff. Carter running the left side, oh, spins nice to move. the 20 to the 22-yard line, and somebody got him around an ankle. I think that might have been Adel again. And they bring him down at about the 23, so it's going to be third down. They've got to get to the 29 for a first down, so it's going to be third down and about six. That's Carter's first carry. Just underway here in the second half. 21 to seven, TC Central leading it. Both teams four and one, three and oh in the Big North Conference coming in. Three receivers go wide right on this Empty crucial backfield. third down play. Here's a lateral pass, and McGuire dropped it. 
That's going to be an incomplete pass. Woo. Boy, One of the Trojans came over and jumped on that thing. I'd make sure that I recovered that just in case. Yeah, McGuire just gave up on that one. He knew he dropped the ball. He kind of tried to take off before he uh, had a handle on that one. Sizek a little disappointed in his receiver as well. you got to remember, he's also a backup quarterback. So if he takes a lateral pass, he can turn and fire that thing downfield. That might be something they might be looking at later on in this bowl game. Wow, they've really got to spread out here on this uh, punt uh, formation now. The front seven of the Titans have got about three yard splits. Good snap. Sizek's the punter. Gets the kick away. Torch Shepherdly takes it at his own 43, moving to the left. Needs a block, gives ground back inside the 40. Now it's up to the 45. They spin him down at the Trojan 46. Uh, down. 35 yard punt, about a seven yard return, but we got a flag. Drake on the special teams, making the tackle for the Titans. Is that going to go against the Trojans? Well, it was a Trojan guy that looked like a slip in there, but he did a good job of not making contact. It look, could have been called, but was not a would have been incidental contact of the Titans running towards him. Trojan did a good job of not laying any uh, padding on him. Looks like it's going to go against the Trojan. Yeah, they are going to call it Legal use of the hands. Back to the 36-yard line, first and 10 central. Only five-yard penalty negates the returns. Wearing the black home uniforms, white numerals, black, gold, and white headgear. 35-yard net on that punt then, starting at the 35. Campbell, the star of the first half, takes the handoff. Up the middle, 40, bounces it outside, 45, into Titan territory. That'll be another first down for Ethan Campbell. First first down for the Titan in the first play of their uh, second half. Campbell picking up about 13. Nice job, nice blocking on that. He's got it close to 90 yards now, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, real. Yeah, 84. <laughs> First and 10 Trojans just across the midfield stripe, trying to add to their 21 to 7 lead here early in the third quarter. Campbell takes another hand off. This time they close him down quickly. No gain that time. Campbell is at full speed in about two steps. <laughs> They don't list the size of the players for uh, Central. I, I would say he's probably right around the 180 mark. I don't recall seeing him at all in the first few games that we did, or maybe briefly. Yeah, mop up, uh, you know, duty. He had uh, 28 carries, two touchdowns for the year coming into this game, and a nine yard average. So. He had seven carries at that average. There's a pass complete. Reamer gets away to the 25, and they finally bring him down there. Drew Reamer makes another big catch, got away from the initial defender, and takes it deep into Titan territory down at the 25-yard line. That's uh, his fourth catch of the night, 55 yards uh, receiving. Only their eighth throw for the Trojans. And they're in uh, four down territory now. Of course, with that weapon called Trey Gorder, you don't <laughs> yeah. make it. You're, you're in field goal range right there. Uh, field goal would be a nice attack on right now because that makes it a free possession uh, game. Shepherdly takes the snap, rolling left, got a man from Matten open. He's going to get sacked back near the 35 yard line. Raymond was open as well out there. But, uh, Two Titans actually ran into each other, and one of them is slow getting up. It's Chance Murphy. Almost 10. One of the Trojans lost a helmet downfield. That was Reamer. Went back and got it. Talking about losing a helmet. Just <laughs> playing the pro game. Zakrychik's on. Oh, my Lord. On Here comes Shab. Campbell. Yeah. Just about. Vicious hit, huh? His old family heard on that one. 840 and counting here in the third quarter. Schwanicki moves from left to right here. They go trips right side. Second and 19. Uh, now we've got a penalty flag. It's like a equipment timeout, I think. No. Going against the Trojans. Wow. Delay a game. No. 
hurting themselves a little bit here, Tim. That, that could be a little momentum changer for the Titans here who need something down 21 to seven. They're at the 25 yard line in four down territory. Now, now they're gotta, back at the 39. Yeah, they gotta get to Acme to get a first down. To the 15. So it's about 25 to go, right? Here's a, Campbell, Campbell gets popped but gets away. Now he's got some running room down the left sideline. And finally Johnson gets him out of bounds. We've got a penalty flag at the 35 yard line. He should have been hit for a loss back at the 45 and Shepherdly doesn't like it. It looks like it's gonna go against the Trojans again here, team. Unbelievable. Is that crowd, my guy? What's the call here now? Block below the waist, cut block. <laughs> here comes Joe Shepherdly. Billy Bramenton's back in the game. It's a chop block. Chop block. That's a 10. Oh my God. That's a 15. That's going to move him back into Trojan territory at the 40 yard line. They couldn't punt for a first down now. This is incredible. There's not a play in anybody's playbook that's set up for fourth and what do we got? 40. That's 44 maybe. Yeah, they've got to get to the 15 for a first down. Second down. They're going backward here now. Fourth and 45. Second and 45. Shepherdly will keep it himself. Jumped over one man, but he goes down right at the 40. He's going to get a yard. That was a second and 45 play. You don't see that very often. <laughs> that was second down in half the field. I think the Lions <laughs> had that play a lot. Clock continues to roll down to 740 and counting here in the third quarter. Play, I would say, has cooled off a little bit after a sizzling first half, Tim. Yeah, it has. I'll tell you what, the air has cooled off, definitely. The crowd has uh, kind of become sedated a little bit, too. They were a little more into it, I think, in the first half. Trojans go trips left, single receiver to the right side on this third and 45 play. Quarterback keeper, quarterback gets away from one man. Oh, almost a horse collar. He'll, he'll be taken down short of the 45 yard line. Gang tackling there by the white and green clad Titans. They'll bring him down short of the Trojan 45. And five minutes into this third quarter, maybe momentum changes here a little bit. Egbert will have to punt it away. Again, if you're just tuning in, Nate Pupil not playing for the Trojans tonight, but that's kind of cleared the way for one of our early players of the game candidates, Ethan Campbell, who's had just had a monster night for Tom Pazano's guys. This will be their third punt. They got a 34 yard average. Good snap, good kick. Nice kick. Guyon runs away from nice it. Ball's foul. gonna go out of bounds around the 15. Mark him out at the 16, 17 yard line. That was a great punt. That was a 42 yard punt. No They're return. No return. 6.35 to go, third quarter, 21 to seven Trojans, back in 30 seconds on News Talk 580. First down play, Sizek is gonna get sacked from behind. Goes down inside the Titan 10 yard line. Coverage sack that time as the Trojans had good coverage all the way down the field. They were in man coverage all the way across. And Sizek not finding anybody breaking free as he loses about six, seven yards. This has been a total defensive struggle here in the second half. Neither team able to do anything. Griffin Forrester has not come back for the Titans after that second half kickoff. That Sizek had nine yards at halftime. He's down to two. Shepherdly had 26 at halftime. He's down to 20. Second down and 18. Little blitz that time. At Here's a, no, boy, both teams are just having a whale of a hard time running any plays here. It was a second and 18. That's going to be what a legal procedure against the Titans. Why they've really fallen apart here? This has been a very, very sloppily played here. In this third quarter, as well as they played in the first half, 
They just can't get anything going here either team. 21-7 here, five to go in the first. It's almost six. In the third, excuse me. 29 to nothing. Glenn Lake over Kingsley in the fourth. Sizek throwing from his own end zone. Got a man open. That's Johnson up at the 15. Gets away and then he goes down at the 16 yard line. Johnson makes about an eight yard reception there. That was a second down and 22 play. That's gonna make it third down. They've gotta get out to the 27. Johnson's oh, that's got about 11. Third down and 11 yards to go, Titans. Down by a couple of scores here. A little more than halfway through the third quarter. Third and 11, Johnson uh, picked up one of these earlier in the night. Man he, comes uh, in motion, Sizek fakes the handoff. Rolling out, got a man deep. He's open, overshot him. Johnson had a step. Johnson kind of gave up down. on his route. He needed to keep going there. He's kind of slowed up. Sizek uh, seeing him break clear and uh, overshot him. Well, he threw that ball well on the run, didn't he? He did very well, going to his left as well. Well, Sizek's going to have to get this punt away inside his five-yard line. Should give the Trojans pretty good field position. Five minutes and one second to go in the third quarter. Trojans up 21-7. It Glad should be on the uh, their side of the 50. Good snap. Sizek gets the kick away. Oh, oh he shanked it right at us up here in the press box. It's going to go out of bounds. It's a nine-yard punt. Maybe. It's going to be inside the 30-yard line. It oh. might be inside the 25. They're going to mark it right at the Titan 25. 11-yard punt. Oh, my word. Oh, that thing went right off. He took his time <laughs> kicking it, and he went right off Worst the side time. of his foot. And he was taking his time. He knew he, uh, they weren't going to rush him. He just kind of took his time and Trying to angle it to the sideline, but <laughs> too, too much of an angle. Trojans get it. Excellent field position, almost in the red zone to start with. Boy, that's a short field. That's downhill football there. First and 10 from the Titan 25 yard line after the 11 yard punt. The they pitch it Campbell. Side. Campbell, and then we got another penalty flag. My gosh, have we run a play without a penalty here? I don't think so. Campbell in the pistol set. They're in a shotgun with Campbell about three yards behind. Shepherdly, who's four, five yards behind the center. Illegal procedure. Now you can hear the fans not too happy, but I don't think we've run a play here in the last. Call, they pointed against the Titans, but it was obviously against the Trojans. You can't have illegal procedure on defense. Ball goes back to the 30-yard line, make it a first and 15. It's interesting that they can start Campbell that far deep, and he can still get yardage. No scoring here so far in the second half. It was 21 to seven at halftime. Just inside of five minutes. Campbell, Shepherdly, and Shepherdly in the backfield. They give the ball to Campbell, tries to pop it, gets down to about the 28 yard line. Billy Vermetten takes a hit. And Vermetten's slow getting up, limping a little bit. Campbell's 11th carry picks up about two yards there. He's at 86 yards. And he's a little slow getting up. A couple of Trojans got dinged on that play. He's starting at about six or seven yards deep, Joel, before he... Uh, he, he has great off. acceleration, doesn't he? He sure does. Keep in mind, Shepard, he's in a shotgun set. Second and 13 after the run by Ethan Campbell. Fake the handoff, Shepard, trying to get outside, and they got him by the uniform, and they'll take him down for a loss back across the 30-yard line. They're going to bring him down at the 33-yard line. Again at halftime, Shepherdly had 26 yards rushing. Both teams kind of running in the mud here, kind of, Tim. Yeah, on five attempts, that's his ninth attempt. He's down to 15 yards rushing now. Well, the only good thing, I guess, if you're a Trojan fan, is that the clock's running. 345 and counting in the third quarter. And Campbell was going to head for the sideline. Now the Trojans are going to take a timeout. We will, too. 346 to go in the third. Trojans up by 14. The A-Team, Joel Frank, Tim Brick, Christopher, our engineer producer. Full house tonight here from Thurlby Field on Patriot Night. The showdown for Big North Supremacy. Trojans lead it right now 21-7, but they've got a third and 18 play coming up. 
They started from the Titan 25 yard line and they've lost eight yards back to the Titan 33 here. Last series it was fourth and 45. Third and 45. shepherd has got a man open down here. Campbell's got a touchdown. He got behind the defense. One of the Trojans is no laid flag. out on the field. No flag. That was a... Uh, Campbell's got his third touchdown. Campbell just a flare pass out of his uh, pistol set. He was the up back in that I formation and uh, off the shotgun. 33 so again, yards. Eight yards deep, he just swung around the outside. Nobody was on him. That was the safety's man. But the safety's way over. They should have had the corner on him, but they run the corner off of the outside guy. Campbell goes 33 yards for a touchdown. His third touchdown of the night. And now here's Trey Gorder on to attempt the 28th Trojan point. Oh, he scored hold. every way you can think of. He, kick only is up. he hasn't done his kick. It's good. I don't think Gorder let him do that, do you? Nope. Three and a half to go in the third. Trojans lengthen it. They now lead it 28 to 7. AP Bio. Debate. Orchestra. Cross country. Traverse City Area Public Schools offer the broadest curriculum and greatest variety of programs and activities of any area school system. Yearbook. Corral. Cymatech. Francais. Equestrian. Palm Squad. At TCAPS, kids discover their potential because there are so many places to look. I want to do it all. Traverse City Area Public Schools, giving every child every opportunity to reach higher. 28 to 7 here, Ethan Campbell. Wow. He hadn't had those kind of stats to show he was going to have this kind of night coming in, did he? Uh, no, he scored on a punt, on a kickoff return, on a running uh, play, and on a pass. Octavian Waugh with the return from the goal line. Runs to the left, crosses the Titan 20. They bring him down there, up at about the 21-yard line. First and 10, TC West. Now down 28 to seven with three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Shepherdly with another touchdown pass. He's got two tonight. Yeah. One to Reamer, one to Campbell. That was a beautifully designed play. He threw that ball to Campbell out of the backfield. He beat a linebacker. But he laid it out there perfectly. Didn't he? For him, he just Campbell let him run under full stride. And he's got, he's pretty fast when he's going. Sizek brings him to the line. First down play, pops it across the middle to Tucker. Tucker taken out of bounds, short of the 30 yard line. He'll get about five. Is that Tucker or Johnson? That was Johnson. Johnson, that's his fifth catch. Still looking, did Forster come back in the game? I don't think so. Looks like Kirky's in the backfield now on this second down play. Get, pick up a five on first down. There's a fake handoff, Sizek rolling left, gets hit as he lets it go. Pass is gonna be complete McGuire. to McGuire. Up at the 40 yard line. McGuire, McGuire gets about 12. And boy, Sizek took a big hit after he delivered that ball. I think Bonaccini gave him a shot, didn't he? second throw. Clock stops at 319 in the third. First and 10, Titans from their own 39. Sizek got a man up in the middle, overshot, nobody there. Well, the Trojans, the Krychik was the closest player to that one. I think the wide receiver broke off his pattern that time, T. And only black clad Trojans around that ball. That was dangerous. They've had one interception so far tonight? Uh, the Titans have had uh, one, the Trojans have had one. I think Tucker got one and the guitar got one. Titans go with three receivers to the right side. Here's that lateral pass to McGuire. McGuire's got some running room outside 45 to the 50. And he's finally pushed out of bounds in Trojan territory. McGuire gets uh, about 16 yards. I think they're setting something up with that flame. Remember, McGuire's the backup quarterback. I think he's going to take a lateral pass sometime and fire one downfield, don't you think? It could be. I don't know if you saw, but the Trojans went to a three-man rush that time. First and ten west in Trojan territory. 
Slyzik fakes the handoff, rolling left, still rolling, fires it downfield, one-handed nice catch, catch. down the left sideline, go. still going at the 10, finally taken out of bounds. He made a one-handed grab and then tightrope the far sideline down no inside flag. the Trojan 10-yard line. That's a big time play. That's a 40-yard reception, McGuire. Big catch. A couple of big plays in a row here for the sophomore. Grant Bellino's in the game along with Kirky. He just moved in front of the receiving yard. He's got 83 yards on four catches. Sizek coming from the sideline. Tim Worf sends in the play. And boy, Titans got to blow a timeout here with 2.54 to go, and you know the coach isn't going to be happy about that. You know, forcing the Titans into a passing situation isn't necessarily good when you got Sizek, who's a 70% thrower. He can really deliver that ball, can he? He really does, and he's got a pretty good uh, bunch of receivers out there. He's got it into uh, five different receivers' hands so far. will be the final year, right? Notre Dame's yeah. going, in, going into the ACC. They've got a requirement. they got to play three or four ACC teams. <laughs> First down play. Sizek rolling to the right. Got a man open. Throws a touchdown. Titans, I believe. Yep, Bellino again. Grant Bellino makes the catch and is in the right corner of the end zone. Whew. Right in the extreme right hand. I thought it was Bellino. Looked like, looked like. Here, 25. No, well. See Bellino coming off there, yeah? I think it was Grant Bellino. All right, we'll give it to Bellino. <laughs> He's a touchdown machine. He is a machine. Lashik's on to attempt the extra point. It's long enough, it's good. And the Titans are right back in this thing now. Touchdown pass. Sizik to Bellino, 2.46 to go. And the lead is down to 14, 28 to 14. Let's take our final 30 second break here in the third quarter. Well, the A team on a high school football Friday night on News Talk 580. Glad you've joined us, Joel Frank, Tim Brick. Christopher, our engineer producer, the A-team with you. And the Titans showing a little life here. Tim Moore's guys rallying. Well, after some real sloppy pay play to start the second half, they put together a couple of That was a great drive right there. there. It started off, I mean, an 11-yard punt by Titans that put the Trojans in good position. Campbell goes in to score. And then uh, in less than a minute, the Titans respond to the scoring drive of their own. And I'll tell nice, you what, uh, the Trojans better watch it here, Tim, because they've got Sizek kicking off. This might be an onside kick. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. I think Weston Dittar sensed that as well. He's one of the up men. Sizek pooches it right down the middle, takes a big bounce. It's going to be picked up by Egbert, and they're going to twist him down at the 32-yard line. Yikes. Looked almost like a pretzel. And one of the Titans lost his shoe, that's Tucker. Up, I can tell. So now, we see what happens. 28-14 Trojans, but Titans show life. Trojans have been able to counter. And that broke a, what, a 28 point run there by the Trojans after they fell behind 7-0 in the first quarter. They ran off 28 straight points before the Titans finally put another one in the end zone. Still 2.43 to go in the third quarter. There's an eternity in this football game. From the shotgun, first and 10 from their own 32. They pitch it out to Campbell. No, that's Schwanicke. Schwanicke crosses the 35, maybe to the 36 yard line. Schwanicke picks up maybe two yards, three yards. He's got negative two yards, negative yep. one yard on the night. Dylan Luna with that tackle for the Titans. Clock rolling. I'll tell you what, you start playing the clock this early in the ballgame, you're going to get in trouble. They yeah. got to keep playing the Titans here. 
especially a team that can throw like Sizek and uh, his uh, fleet of receivers. Second down play, here's the pitch out again. This time Campbell breaks it, jumps over a defender down the sideline. He's gonna be close to midfield, and then Diver takes him down out of bounds. Oh, there's no penalty flag on that? He was right into the Trojan bench. Oh, the Trojan coaching staff is livid right down below us. Campbell picks up another first down and about a 12-yard pickup. They're going to mark him down at the Trojan 48-yard line. He's at 98 yards. 98 yards rushing, 99 yards at least on receiving and uh, return yardage. And another... Uh, we caught at least 33 a 33-yard touchdown. Receiving. He's got over 200 yards total offense here. Huh? First and 10 on the run. Shotgun, Shepard, here's a penalty flag again. Billy Vermetten had a step on Tucker, and I think that's where Shepard was going to go. They were going to run Vermetten on a fly pattern. That's illegal procedure as a call against the Trojans. You can hear the fans down below us. Boy, I'll tell you what, a lot of penalty flags flying here in the second half. We've still got a minute and 54 seconds to go in the third quarter. At this rate, we may miss the Brady Hoke show. That's coming up at 10 o'clock. Don't forget, after the ball game, we pick our William Chevrolet player of the game. When we get a moment here, Timmy will tell you about some important doings going on there. Chevrolet pump fake. Got a man open down the sideline. Oh, well, we got to have one catch. foot in. Did he get the foot down? Yes, he did. One foot in in high school. That's all. Vinny Zakrychik made the catch at the 28-yard line. Boy, Shepherdly got popped, but he put that ball right on the numbers. 33-yard catch again for you say his name. <laughs> Vinny Zakrychik. Zakrychik. So far tonight, that's been the story of this game. The Trojans have been able to make the big plays when they've had to, haven't they, Tim? Yeah, they sure have. Up 28-14, here's a delay to Campbell. And he's gonna be taken down from behind about the line of scrimmage. That play just never developed. <laughs> I tell you, it's been some pretty ugly football for about 12 minutes, and the last four have been awesome. Yeah, there's just... Hard to figure. This is a big series for both of these football teams. Campbell limping a little bit as he heads to the sidelines. The sophomore has had a career night, no doubt about that. 28-14, Central leads it. Clock running as we approach a minute to go in the third quarter. Well, I'll tell you what, Campbell doesn't look like he drops uh, any speed off to Schwanicky. Shepherdly takes a big block, gets a big block, and he turns it upfield. Crosses the Titan 25. He's going to be about the 23-yard line, so it's going to be third down and about five. It's about the first positive yard that schwanicky has got, or shepherdly has got in this half. That's going to break it third down now in six. Schwanicky, we thought he was uh, fast and he's uh, going to graduate, but Campbell, <laughs> I don't think he drops off much, Joel. 35 seconds in county, Tim. I don't think they do either, buddy. Down to 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Third down and six play here. If anything, the crowd's getting bigger here. There's about eight deep around the fences around here. Unbelievable crowd. Shepherdly looks in for his try check intercepted. Johnson. Johnson gets the INT. How did he grab that? It was intended for Vermenton. He got that on a sliding. He looked like a third baseman. That's a big turnover there little bit behind uh, Schwanicky and uh, Johnson slides in underneath it, cradles it, comes away with the INT, no return, but uh, at the sets his team yards. up at the 15. Well, it keeps the Trojans <laughs> off the scoreboard because you were getting close to field goal range for Trey Gorder, and now at the 15, Titans get it back with 18 seconds to go in the third quarter, and that was the play that the West needed right there. Yeah, they scored last time in less than a minute. So let's see what the uh, Titans can do this time. Sizek in the backfield. Four-man line. Rolling out, Donnie Sizek. Oh. Fires it across the middle. Got a man open, complete up at the 40. Reamer makes the tackle. Guyon makes the catch. That's going to be about 25 yards worth. 
set, 23, Zion. First and 10, Titans. As they hustle to the line, they haven't got the stake set yet. Still don't. Clock is running. Titans are barking off the signals. Donnie Sizek back to pass. Trojans on a blitz. Firing it across the middle. Guyan pass again. is complete. And we got penalty flags. Guyan to the Trojan 20 at 35. That's going to be a pass interference call on Central. On the final play of the third quarter. But the quarter can't end on a defensive penalty, can it? Yeah. Nope, it's I going think the to. Quarter can. The quarter the half can. can. The half can. <laughs> Guy the game. two 25-yard receptions in a row, and the fifth took first down for the Titans, all in about the last, they did decline the penalty. Here come the Titans. We've got 12 minutes of football left to go. This one is a long way from over. Sizek rolling out a little bit. Little bit. He's getting good protection from his uh, up front guys that are rolling out with him. I think uh, Hayes and uh, Connor Hayes made a nice Pancake block out there. Alec Coleman, another one that uh, got a nice block in there. Trojans lead at 28-14. We're back in a minute on News Talk 580. You see it in their eyes, their smiles, the sheer joy of learning. It doesn't come from a book. It comes from a teacher, a passionate professional who makes subject matter come alive. At Traverse City Area Public Schools, teachers inspire students by building relationships, nurturing potential, opening doors to the many possibilities and the results are plain to see. Traverse City Area Public Schools, giving every child every opportunity to reach higher. Back just in time for the opening play of the fourth quarter. Donnie Sizek pumps it across the middle, caught again. Back. Carter down to the 15-yard line, but we've got penalty flags back here behind the play. That'll be a 21-yard reception if that holds, but I think we got a block from behind here on a Titan. Oh, man. That Boy, Sizek right laid that one right in there. Is he throwing the ball well right now? Both quarterbacks are unbelievably accurate here. He's on fire right now. I'll tell you what, he, had, he went through a string in the middle of that uh, second and third quarter that were pretty... Uh, ugly but lately man he's been playing with his hair on fire that was a costly penalty that moves them back to the 46 yard line they would have been down to the trojan 15. that's a 31 yard loss on that penalty make it a first and 21 play he's 16 for 25 throwing and he's well over uh he's over 200 yards Griffin Forrester has not come back in the game since the second half kickoff when he got hurt. Sizek pops it, it's low. Johnson couldn't come up with it along the far sideline. Threw that one in the artificial turf. And he had him open again, too. Yeah, he was open. Johnson, I think, lost his footing. It's at a time in the night when the uh, little bit of moisture starts coming out surfacing on this artificial turf and uh, it does get a little bit slippery. Just Tim a little Moore. bit of dew coming out. Tim Moore makes the call across the far side. Second down and 21. Lone running back, three receivers to the right side. Sizek looks that way, pops it complete across the middle. Inside the Trojan 40, that'll go to Jordan Carter. So it's going to be a manageable third down now. Third and about 12. Carter picks up about 12. Trojans hustle to the line here. We're all a minute into the fourth quarter. 28-14 Trojans. Titans, oh, and the Trojans jumped off sides. That just makes it easier. You move it five Somebody yards. in the neutral zone. It's going to look to be Kenneth Merica. Jumped into the neutral zone. That'll be an encroachment penalty. And they've really got two to get uh, seven because it's, they're not going to punt down in, here at the 32-yard line. Ah, you've got another great kicker in Galashik. He's got enough leg. He could possibly get there. It'd be about a 50-yard field goal from here, wouldn't it? Pretty close. You're down by 14. Just inside 11 minutes to go. Third and seven. Right to left here in the final quarter. The Titans fake the handoff. Pressure, Sizek's got a man open. McGuire, touchdown! Sizek put it right on the money. McGuire beat double coverage. 
and all of a sudden we have the potential of a seven point ball game McGuire, with 10.35 to go. McGuire is on fire, Joe, holy mackerel. Zach McGuire has made three huge catches in this second half. He had a 16, a 40 yarder, and a 32 yarder now, all in the last three catches. Unbelievable. Joel said it, the Trojans could be in trouble. Vlasic's on to attempt the extra point. We've got penalty flags. If this goes against the Trojans, they may go for two here. Nope, it's gonna go against the Titans though, I believe. Illegal procedure. That's gonna move it back across the five, up to the eight. So now we've got about a 23 yard extra point. That could be big. Yeah, gonna be. Snap is down, the kick is long enough. Plenty of room. Oh, he nailed that, didn't he? <laughs> he Ten. was into the second row. <laughs> so about 40 people deep behind that goal post. He was into the 30. Do not row. go away. We've got a beautiful finish coming up in this one. Welcome back on a high school football Friday night on News Talk 580. Joel Frank, Tim Brick, and Christopher, our engineer producer. Well, I'll tell you, I thought the Trojans started to play the clock a little bit instead of the Titans, and momentum has really shifted in this football game. Here's a pooch kick along the ground. And now we've got another penalty flag, or what? We've got a stoppage in any event. Yeah. Sizek is the kickoff man, pooched that ball along the ground. I don't know, maybe they weren't set. Well, those penalty flag across the way. Might have been offside on the kickoff. Let's see if they move it back five yards. They are. Titans were offside. So Sizek will kick it again from his own 35 yard line this time. Not too many people have gone home, Tim. In fact, I think we've gained a few people. Here. I think so too. It's still piling in here. On a gorgeous no night for a high school football. You'll be in the parking lot for about a half an hour. 10:35 to go in the ball game. The Titans have scored a couple in a row here. Sizek drills it across the middle. Egbert takes it at his own 30. Bounces outside to the 40. Cuts back inside now, and he's going to go down at the Trojan 40. First and 10 for TC Central. What was the score after the third quarter, Tim? 28-14. Uh, it was 7-7 after one. 21 to seven Central at halftime. 28-14 after three. Yep. West has scored another touchdown in this quarter. So that's 28-21 right now with still 10 and a half minutes to go in the ball game. First and 10 Central from their own 40 yard line. They had to retrieve the football from the far side of the field. This is a Trojan home game. Of course, the Trojans play next Saturday. They'll take on Detroit Jesuit. That'll be homecoming for Central, right? Yes, it will. Joe Shepherdly and TJ Shepherdly, the backs on this first down play. And there's Shepherdly busts it. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 10, 5. They won't get him. 60 yards. TJ Shepherdly breaks it out. He was uh, in a cold spell there. 19 yards up to that point. Oh, my. That was a huge touchdown by Shepherdly. Oh, my. Oh, what a this monster game is run. For the record books. Holy <laughs> that, that was incredible. Unbelievable. Shepherdly had been going backwards in his yardage in the whole second half. Had 26 at halftime, was down to 19. And then on the first play after the kickoff, he just breaks it off 60 yards with okay. six. I hope my voice holds out here. Gorder's on to attempt the extra point. It's perfect. The junior place kicker, it's good. And uh, we got a unsportsmanlike conduct on the Titans players. He pushed the uh, Gorder to the ground after the kick. Trojans 35, Titans 21. Back in 30 seconds on News Talk 580. Well, you got a 
to love it. It's punch, counter punch, Tim Brick. Holy mackerel. It was West first, then the Titans took charge, or the Trojans, and the Titans came back, and that was a huge, huge run by the senior quarterback, T.J. Shepherly, to put his Trojans back up by 14, 35, 21, 10, 16 still to go. He was untouched. He came around that right side, and... He can really accelerate, can he, team? Unbelievable. That offside corner looked like he was going to close in, but as he gave up at about the five-yard line, Shepherdly went in untouched, 60 yards. Beautiful play. Gorder kicks this thing off. It's going to be returned by Octavian Waugh inside the five. Cuts to the near side. Brady Gerard's rating for him there. He'll take him down at about the 23. First and 10 Titans from their own 23-yard line. Oh, Gorder not happy. I don't know if he's not happy that that ball was returned or it looks like they're going after him a little bit. He's got his shoulder pad out, doesn't he? You don't, you don't see kickers with shoulder pads hanging out. Well, you know what? The Titan um, guys roughed up Gorder with the kick that extra point. They threw a flag. I don't know, maybe. Oh, now they call, but they're calling a personal foul on Central. That'll move the ball to the 37-yard line in West Territory. Well, I don't know. Looks like Gorder got roughed up, and they called the personal foul on Central. They had something going with Gorder. I don't know what happened there. He got roughed up on that PAT and then on the kickoff. Well, let's see what happens here. We still haven't played two minutes yet in the fourth quarter. Fake handoff. Rolling out. Sizek pops it across the oh, middle. Oh, dropped that one in there nicely. But this receiver couldn't hold on to it. Who was that? Is that Tucker? Tucker. Yeah, it was Justin Tucker well, that couldn't was right hold that in there, one. and he, he threaded the needle right Dustin behind Tucker. the linebacker and in front of the safety and threaded that in there. But uh, Tucker not able to get it. He put it in there with a little uh, mustard on it. He delivers the ball really well. He really does, and he's got good vision. You can see he's got. He's not looking at one receiver. Kirky's in the backfield. He's replaced Forrester, who got hurt on the second half kickoff. Here's a quarterback Quite keeper, size that gets away from one man. Up at the 40, he'll tiptoe out of bounds at the 45 the yard line. Down. He's going to be about a yard short. It's going to be third and two. Sizek picking up about eight. He hasn't run very much tonight, has he? Uh, that's only the second rush for the Titans in this second half, believe it or not. And he ran the uh, first one. That was a negative seven. So, actually, uh, Carter had one run. So that's the third carry of the second half for the Titans. Third down and two from the Titan 45-yard line. Air Sizek we got here. Yeah. Air War. Donnie Sizek changing the play. Reset the running back, Kirky, to the left side. They give the handoff to Kirky. Turns it upfield. He's going to be stopped short. That's Kirky's first carry, and he is short of the first down. I don't know why they didn't just slam it up in there. Kirky for no gain. Now they're going to have to kick this one away. Their last punt was for and 11 two. yards. Well, 9.35 and counting here, down 35-21. Do you kick it away, Tim, or do you go for it? I, I think I think you got to go for it. Not, their last punt was 11 yarders. Uh, they're going to go for it. Let's see, if they, in there. let's see if they're going to try to draw the Trojans offside they here. They have team. not done much on the ground, though, i got to tell you. They had 16, 46 yards in the first half. Full house backfield. Give the ball straight ahead, and they're going to oh. stack up the freshman. You can tell what happened. The crowd gave it away. He's going to lose yardage. Grant Ellison, he's going to lose yardage. He didn't get back to the 45-yard line. Ellis has got uh, Rydell written backwards on his forehead right now. Trojans take over on downs. They're going to mark him down right at the 45. He had to get just across for a first. He didn't make it. Trojans take over on downs from the Titan 45-yard line. Now let's see if they work on the clock a little bit. Up 35-21. <laughs> T.J. Shepherly, Joe Shepherly in the backfield. First down play. Here's the quarterback keeper again. Shepherly rolling. They get him up around the headgear, and they'll bring him down. 
for a loss. Back to about the 47 yard line. Jordan Stevenson made that tackle. Got him high around the headgear, didn't he? I saw a tackle though, he didn't let go. Side that gave him a good stiff arm, but uh, I mean, uh, Shepherdy gave him a good stiff arm, but he uh, didn't affect him. Well, he loses two on first down, make it second down and 12. 77 yards for Shepherdy. Most of those on that one run, though, for the touchdown. Yeah, Campbell's got 98. Schwanke is uh, almost a non-factor in this game, believe it or not. Pump fake by Shepherdy. This time bounces it nice to the move. outside 40, down nice to the move. 35, down to the Titan 30-yard line. Shepherdy picks up. What a pump fake. Picks up 17 yards. It was first and 11 or 12. I'll tell you what, that was huge. Titans had good pressure, and had Shepherdly thrown that ball, it would have been knocked down, so he pump faked, juked the defender, and then ran it to the far side of the field for another Trojan first down, down to the west 30-yard line. I'll tell you what, Joel, we got two really nice quarterbacks in this town and two completely different um, styles. But both very effective. They're both effective. Oh, there's a fumble. Snapped it over Shepherdly's head. And he goes back to the 50 to pick it up. Now he's got some running room down to the 35 yard line. He will lose about five, but that ball was back to midfield. Oh boy. I can't believe he is athletic enough to pick that one up. And now uh, Joe Shepherdly, his brother, comes back and gets a block. And if he could have got by that first defender, he might have taken it to the house again. Number 40 was a. Uh, I think Stevenson was chasing him down. Shepherdly scoops it up while uh, his younger brother Joe comes back and just lays the lumber to Stevenson. One of, one of the officials got hurt on that play. Amy Ream is out there working on one of his knees. I think he got heart hurt looking at Stevenson. We've got 7.26 to go in the ball game. Trojans from the west 35 yard line. They've got to get down to about the 20 for a first down. Clock rolling as we approach the seven minute mark. Trojans up by two scores, 35 21. In that pistol set, we got Joe Shepherdly off the hip of his brother and then uh, Campbell behind him. The sophomores had a huge night. Young Shepherdly, uh, Joe gets the ball. And he backs his way down near the 30 yard line. Joe's that, only a sophomore too. That's going to get him back to where it's going to be third and about 10. That's Joe's first carry of the night. So he picks up fours. He's a sophomore. Campbell's a sophomore. The TJs are seniors. Don't forget, after the ball game, we pick our William Chevrolet player of the game. They got some big doings going on tomorrow and then into October, right, T? We'll tell you yeah. about that here after this big play. Yeah. I wonder if we should pick a Williams player of the year for each side or going the game. Campbell spinning down to the 26, maybe the 27 yard line. It's, uh, so it's gonna bring up fourth and about seventh. Campbell gets about four. What do you do, do you go for it yeah, here? Yeah, you go for it. Although. Ball's inside the 30 yard line. I don't would, know. You that would be a field goal range. I don't know, that'd be about well, Campbell breaks the century mark there. He's at 102. It'd be 45 yards, Tim. I don't know. I know what. I know what Gordard like. I know what Gordard too saying. <laughs> Bring on the kicker. Yeah, that's uh, Jake's dad. Fourth down and about eight yards. They've got to get down to the Titan 20-yard line. Clock rolling at five and a half minutes. TC Central 35, TC West 21. And now Central's gonna take a time out. They're gonna talk about this. AP Bio. Debate. Orchestra. Cross country. Traverse City Area Public Schools offer the broadest curriculum and greatest variety of programs and activities of any area school system. Yearbook. Corral. Cymatech. 
Français. Equestrian. Palm Squad. At TCAPS, kids discover their potential because there are so many places to look. I want to do it all. Traverse City Area Public Schools, giving every child every opportunity to reach higher. Fourth down. Campbell's going to throw it. Got a man wide open downfield. Touchdown, Schwanicky. The Schwanicky. The option Schwanicky. pass. On fourth and 28. Fourth down, 28. I mean, on the, on the fourth and eight, on the 28. They pitched the ball to Campbell, and now he has done it all. Campbell throws the touchdown pass to TJ Schwanicky. And maybe the difference in this football game right now. So he's run a kickoff back. He scored on a touchdown pass. He's throwing a touchdown pass. Well, I got to tell you right now, unless something changes in the final five and a half minutes, I know who I'm going to pick for my Williams player of the game. Oh, my gosh. Trey Gorder is true on the extra point. 42 <laughs> 21 Trojans back in 30 seconds on News Talk 580. Oh my, what a night. Ethan Campbell, that's a name to remember, folks. The sophomore has done it all tonight. He's run for a touchdown, caught a touchdown pass, ran a kickoff back for a touchdown, and now he's throwing a touchdown pass. That would be one of the greatest performances in school history. I don't know, the only thing he hasn't done is kick one, you know? He scored every way possible. <laughs> That's amazing. Think about that. That's crazy. Like a side, like a That's unbelievable. Ethan Campbell, sophomore, 42 21 Trojans. Gorder boots it away. Schwanicky had been pretty much a non entity all night long. Octavian Waugh comes up, gets away, almost tackled by his own man, crosses the 25, and he'll go down there. First and 10 Titans, which I'll tell you what, Tim Moore's guys are not going to quit. I can assure you of that. There's still 5.18 to go in this ball game. We will join Brady Hoke, I'm sure, in progress. That show is going to be starting about five minutes. And we've still got 5.18 to go in this ball game. Been a long, long, long second half. But what a nice night. Kudos to Matt Prisk, to coaches War and Pazino. Patriot Night, it's been a huge success, and on the field, it's been a great high school football game. Absolutely fantastic football Donnie game. Donnie Sizek's got some backside pressure. He gets popped. Ball comes loose. I think that's going to be an incompletion. Yeah, he knocked the shoe right off him, too. Oh, Look at that, Joel. He get drilled. <laughs> Sizek's shoe is five yards away from him. Reeves Adel with a hit. Oh he my, what a ear hold. He got knocked out of his shoes. That was a slobber knocker. <laughs> Haven't had one of those in a while. That was a big time hit. Yes, sir. Even his mom's hurt. Second down and 10 after the incompletion. Ball's at the 26 yard line. Titans in their own territory. They need to score quickly now. Here's Sizek rolling out right. Got a man open underneath complete. That's Carter. And he gets the first down. You know, Carter's had a big night. He really has. Carter's had, uh, that's his sixth reception for 12 yards. He got 70, 81 yards, 71 yards. They're going to mark him out of bounds. McGuire's up got 115. Johnson's got 58. Sykes has got, what, about 250 throwing the ball? He's got to be close to that. Yeah, he's way over that. Closing down 300. Down to five minutes to go. Fake hand off to Tucker. Sizek turns back to his right, oh. throws it up. Got a man wide open. Tucker at the 40. Gets Tucker away from nice Reamer. Move. Down to the 30-yard line. They finally bring him down there. 26-yard reception for Tucker on the 30th pass by Sizek. <laughs> Dustin Tucker makes another big catcher. Come the Titans up to the line. First and 10 from the Trojan, 30. 17 first downs for the Tro Titans in this game. Two receivers to the right side on first down. Sizek straight back. Nice pump, pump fake. fake. 
throws it over everybody's head. Reamer, good coverage on Johnson, Johnson along that far sideline. Johnson coming back to the ball, but not uh, should have been aware where that stake was. She went a little bit uh, went past it and come back to the stake. He went to the stake and came back. I think Johnson's or uh, Sizek's target was the stake. That's why it was a little over his head. Second down and 10 from the Trojan 30 yard line. Glad you've joined us on an outstanding high school football Friday night on News Talk 580. We'll be at Curtis Field a week from tonight to see these Titans and the Fatoski Northmen. They reset Johnson to the left on the second and 10 play. Left is a Isaac wide rolls side. that way. Here comes David Chavette, and Bonaccini knocks the quarterback out of bounds just inside the 30 yard line. Isaac maybe picks up one. Box at 441. David Chavette, pretty good inside pressure there for the Trojans. Clock stops at 4.41 to go in the ball game. Titans got two timeouts. Trojans doubling up the Titans here at 42-21. Don't forget the post-game show coming up. We pick our William Chevrolet player of the game. Thanks again to Christopher, our engineer producer, back at News Talk 580 for his outstanding work. Titans. I think they're going to get one. Not giving up at all. They still think they're in this game. They're playing hard. Sizek on the keeper. Oh, he gets hammered as he crosses the 30. They closed on him quickly, and he got down to maybe the 28 yard line. That was a called quarterback draw. It's going to bring up fourth and about 10. I don't think he had any attention or throw. They didn't that give one, him any, any forward progress at all. Yeah, those linebackers are up. Did they close? They closed quick. Time out, 429 You to go. see it in their eyes, their smiles, the sheer joy of learning. It doesn't come from a book, it comes from a teacher, a passionate professional who makes subject matter come alive. At Traverse City Area Public Schools, teachers inspire students by building relationships, nurturing potential, opening doors to the many possibilities, and the results are plain to see. Traverse City Area Public Schools, giving every child every opportunity to reach higher. This is kind of a love-hate relationship. I, I love these games and I, I hate these games when they play each other. One, because you hate to see one of these teams lose, but you love them because finally a Traverse City team is going to win when we broadcast a game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Fourth down and ten. And the other nice part is we get to be at Thoroughby Field. They're, They're going the for it. so much. From the shotgun, Sizek rolling right, needs 10 yards. Gonna pop it downfield, got a oh. man too long for Going McGuire. Going for McGuire. Flag Penalty flag. flag in the secondary, and it's yeah. gonna be a hold. It's got a hold on the point to the Trojans. So that's that breathes a little life into the uh, Titans. You bet, that's gonna give them new life. Oh, the Trojans can't believe I it. I think it was McGuire that was grabbed, in fact. As he was breaking across on a, on a flag route coming from the offside. And uh, he crossed in front of that uh, That'll be a mark off from the line grabbed. of scrimmage. Auto first down. Hold on. That'll mark it down to the 20 yard line, first and 10. Still 4.23 to go in the ball game. It's now 10 o'clock and we've still got four and a half minutes to go in this ball game. McGuire goes wide left. Guyon, tight end on the left side. Two receivers to the right. Single running back is Kirky. Sizek rolling right, got a man open in the middle. Too wide. Boy, you could have almost got interference there on one of the Trojan defenders in the end zone. Adel was bellying up to Carter, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Sizek was trying to roll to the short side of the field and ran out of room there. Looking back, he had also three receivers on the short side. It got a little bit crowded in there. But the wide side is left side, and that's not the best way for him to roll. He's got to have close to 30 passes that's now. That's 31 right now. Still 42-21, second and 10 after the incompletion. He rolls Sizek again to the right. Got some backside pressure, over a shot his man. Johnson, he went for Johnson. Uh, Tyler Johnson. A little, little tall on that one. Johnson trying to go up the ladder, but not uh, enough rungs. It's going to be up third down. They're not using up much time. 4:14 still on the clock. Yeah, the clock stops after all these incompletions. That's good news for Tim Moore's guys. 
who unless they come back will fall to four and two on the season. And they'll be three and one in the big north. Central, if they can hold on, will be five and one. We could wrap up a playoff spot at home next Saturday against UD Jesuit. Here's a lateral pass complete to Carter. He will not get away. That's Adel with another big defensive play. He'll go down at the 20 yard line. That'll make it fourth down, Tim. Fourth and 10 from the 20 yard line. Titans will go for it. Clock stops at 3.51 and counting in the ball game. Kirky's your lone running back. Sizek straight back to pass. Here comes the pressure, rolling out, fires it downfield, complete. Good job. That'll be enough for a first down. And he gets out of bounds. That's Johnson, good field awareness there. Johnson gets the first down, gets out of bounds, stops the clock at 3.38. What a delivery again by Donnie Sizek. Johnson, six re reception, 11 yards there. He's got 70, uh, 70 yards. First and goal, Titans inside the Trojan 10 yard line. 3.38 to go in the game. Amazing stats here. He, he might set a school record for most attempts in a game here, do you think? <laughs> might be know. most attempts in this series. Could be in this series. I can look that up maybe if I got time. Sizek fakes the handoff, rolling to the far side. He'll keep it. He gets out of bounds. Inside the five yard line, make it second and goal. He makes a run, six yard pickup for Sizek. They're going to mark him out at the five. 10 carries. They're going to mark him out at the five, Tim. So about four. Because they had first and goal just inside the 10. So make it second Most attempts five. is Kovarik had 34 in this game. He's already got uh, 34. So he's tied that. Next throw will put him in. It. And now they're going full house too tight. I wouldn't look for a pass here. Second and goal from the five yard line. It is. Here's Sizek rolling out. He's got the left corner of the end zone. He, didn't he get doesn't there. get in. The clock continues to run. Sizek gets about three yards. He's down to the two yard line, 320 on the clock. Datar and Bonaccini collaborate on the tackle. He's down at the three yard line, third and goal for the Titans. Down by three quick, scores. Quick up to the line, 208. Full house. Size that gives it up the middle. Fourth, he didn't get in. No, not fourth. It was Eagle. Forest Eagle. Forest Eagle in the ball game in the back. He didn't make it. It's fourth and goal at the two yard line. Clock's Titans running, 246. Up. Full house backfield. Sizek. Backside pressure. Got a man wide open. Bolino, touchdown Titans. The touchdown machine. Grant Bellino huh. with 2.38 to go. It's 42-27. Sets the record for this series. Bellino getting another touchdown. <laughs> Lashik's on to attempt the extra point. This ball game's not over, folks. Don't head for the parking lot just yet. Not to mention, it's going to take you a while to get out of here anyway. Kick by Lashik is good. And with two and a half minutes to go in the ball game, the Titans are back in it. We'll get an onside kick. 42-28 Trojans, 70 points in this one. We're back in 30 seconds on News Talk 580. What a beautiful night for high school football. Right, Just now, chilling down a little bit, but absolutely fantastic, and the crowd is still hanging in there, Joel. Yeah, glad to have my wife Deb up in the press box tonight. She gets yeah. to see one of the great views in all of northern Michigan. You had a guest up here tonight, too. Yes, I did. George Powell here. Uh, Here's the onside kick. It does not go 10 and, yards. there's a flag. I'm That's sure going to be offside. offside. It's offside against the Titans. All that. So, that ball didn't go 10 yards, I don't think. I'm not sure what they're going to call here. They can make him kick it again, or they can take it, can't they? Because the ball didn't go, it went out of bounds. Do they have to make him kick it again, or can they just take the ball? I think they can decline that. Well, they're going to get some help from the sideline here. They're going to huddle up. 
see if they're going to. Now the referees are going to talk. It's a penalty would be against the Titans. I think they had a couple of different penalties. One, the ball went out of bounds. It's offsides against the Titans on the kick. So they'll have to kick it again, evidently. Otherwise, you could decline that and take the ball at the 35, couldn't you? Yeah, I would think so, but I don't know why. It seemed like they could decline it, but it was before the kick. Well, there have been a couple of, let's put it this way, unusual calls in this one. Well, things are happening fast and furious. It's hard to keep track of some of this stuff. I was trying to recreate how. So they're going to move Trojans the ball back to the, the 35. After Shepherdly's kickoff. That was like two hours ago. Yeah, it seemed like, and I can't remember how they did that, but we'll figure it out. You know, at this rate, it may be next Friday night before this game ends. <laughs> Isaac will kick it again. This time he goes the other way, and it's going to be taken by one of the up men for the Trojans, and they get down at the Trojan 48-yard line, first and 10 central. Reese Adel, who's had quite a ball game, recovered the onside kick, first and 10 central. Each team again with a timeout left. Central up by two scores at 42-28. Already tonight, St. Francis has picked up a victory 26 to seven. In the fourth quarter, Glen Lake was ahead of Kingsley 29 to nothing. Mancelona was playing uh, Pickford, I think. I don't... Here's a quarterback keeper, Shepherdly gets popped right at the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. And the Titans are now tackling the ball, Tim. They're trying to get it loose. Clock rolling down to 220 and counting. Shepherdly is going to get one on that carry. He's at 90 yards now. Trojans taking their time in that, control of this one. He was at 94 at one point before they hiked the ball over his head. He had to go back and ended up losing yardage. Now. All they've got to do now is just hold on to the ball. <laughs> they hiked it way over his head. Though. This will be one of Tom Pazano's biggest victories if they can hold on here for another two minutes. Shepherdly again. Looks for some backside help, and there's nothing there but white. And so the senior quarterback will go down for a loss inside the Trojan 45-yard line. Clock continues to run. The Titans uh, got one timeout left. You need to use it on defense. You got better control of the clock on offense than you do D. They're going to mark him down at the 45. That's going to make it third and 12. They've got to get to the Titan 43 for a first down. Approaching a minute and 20 seconds to go in the ball game. Nice position to be in, though, up 42-28, huh, T? Absolutely. <laughs> I still wouldn't feel real comfortable. Well, I wouldn't either. <laughs> Not with Donnie Sizek throwing Sizek the ball around. Can, uh, get you back into it. Hand it off to Schwanicke. Pops it to the outside, but they bring him down. Schwanicke picks up about. Well, that was a good tackle by Stevenson, as he would look like he might break it. He's going to go down at the 49-yard line. That's going to make it fourth down. How many yards do you think Schwanicke's got rushing, Joel? About 20. He has two yards rushing. Two? He's got five carries. He was at negative yardage before that one. Titans take their last time out. It was 7-7 after one, 21-7 Central at halftime. Trojans still had a 14-point lead, 28-14 after three. And they are up 42-28 right now. Egbert's on to punt it away. Nate Pupil not playing tonight. He got injured against West Branch. Here come the Titans. Egbert gets the kick away, kind of a knuckleball. Gets inside the 10, rolling inside the five oh. and out of bounds. Oh, man. 46 yard punt. That's not to minimize what Nate Pupil means to this football team, because let's face it, he can do so many things. But my goodness, the two people that have replaced him, Egbert punting the football, <laughs> and, 
and yeah. Campbell running the ball and oh, yeah. throwing the ball. There's nothing to make you heal faster than that kind of stuff. <laughs> this is not the highest scoring game, by the way. 93 points a couple of years ago, 2010. We got 70 right here with a 54 seconds to go. I would expect that uh, Sizek still in there. I think he's going to add to his all-time record here for passes in a ball game in this series. Sizek from his own end zone, rolling out, pops it across the middle, knocked away. Might have been touched by one of the up front Trojan defenders. Came up short. That one intended for Johnson on the out cut. 49 seconds and no timeouts for the visiting Titans. Bulls at their home, home field. At their own four yard line. This was a Trojan home game tonight. I'll tell you what, stands are clearing out pretty good though. Yep. Making their way. Everybody have a safe weekend. Sizek back to pass again. Rolling out, got a man open underneath, that's complete. Johnson. Johnson steps out of bounds. He's had a big night too. Yeah, that's his uh, eighth catch, seventh catch. You know what? What would it be like if Sizek had played last year? Yeah. You know, with another year of experience under his belt, this guy is amazing. He got injured last year, wasn't able to play. Baseball player too. Yeah, I think he got hurt playing baseball. He's probably good looking too, crying out loud. Got good grades, I'll bet. Sizek, down the middle of the field, overshot. Those throwing for Carter. Boy, he threw that one into a lot of black shirts. Most quarterback types, you know? Fearless, right? Good looking, good grades. What about offensive linemen? The big uglies, that's what they're <laughs> called, the big uglies. <laughs> that's going to make it. Second down and 10 at the 14 yard line. Clock stops at 38 seconds to go. 42 28 Trojans. Late, late, late in this one. They can hold on for another half minute plus. Sizek fakes the handoff, rolling to his left. Pop it to Tucker, Tucker, complete up at the 25. Side steps Egbert, but he doesn't get away. They Got take the him down, down at the 25. Stop the clock. Bonaccini was there as well for the TC Central Trojans. 19th first down for the Titans. 29 seconds to go, clock running. Clock starts and the chains are set. Sizek, pump fakes, rolls, Going deep. fires it downfield, gonna be picked oh. off. Oh. Reamer's got it. And Reamer's gonna go down at the 35 yard line and that'll end it. 13 seconds to go. Drew Reamer picks Donnie Sizek and the Trojans are gonna win it. What a win. Unbelievable game though. This I'll is a great, what. great victory for Tom Pazano and TC Central. It was entertaining from well before the kickoff till now. It was just unbelievable halftime, unbelievable pregame. The Patriot game aspect of it, very emotional start. Two and this great football games. And this just in, Timmy, this game is only 15 minutes shorter than Roots. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if the Trojans are just going to run this thing out now. Shepherdly long, will take a knee. Longer than the last day of school. <laughs> and that is the final play of the wow. ball game. Big win wow. for Traverse Big City win. Central. 42 to 28. They're going to go to 4 and 0 in the Big North Conference. Right.